Your Spoon 107.5 FM. From the top of Wologisi to the beaches of Maryland, we cover Liberia like nobody else does. This is Spoon 107.5 FM. Inside, inside. A special one from the CEO Stan coming with the spoon and your boy Friday the South Man Char James on the beat. Spoon gonna no tell you what is happening in Liberia. Spoon gonna no tell you what is happening in Morovia. Morovia. Spoon gonna no tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to the spoon, oh, to the spoon you ain't know. If the children cry for starvation, just to the spoon. You want to get a news update, my brother, tune to spoon. You want to know what is happening, more of your tune to spoon. Politicians want to make their decision, just tune to spoon. You want to know what's happening in the ministry, tune to spoon. Yeah, 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 tune to spoon. Yeah, 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 You from yeah, yeah, Maryland to yeah, 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 You got the spoon TV, you got the spoon radio, yeah, 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 you want to get a news update? Turn to spoon. Wah wah, yeah. Rastafara. Kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba, kili bamba. What I want? It's my new body, Leo. It's my new body, Leo. Yes, I, a special one from the CEO Stan coming with the spoon. And your boy, right in the south, man. Charge is on the beat. Turn the spoon to get your information. Turn the spoon to be part of our discussion. Spoon, spoon, spoon television. Spoon, spoon, spoon radio. Yeah. Spoon going to tell you what is happening in Liberia. Spoon going to tell you what is happening in Morovia. Morovia. Spoon going to tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to the spoon, oh, to the spoon, you ain't know. If the children cry for starvation, just to the spoon. You want to get a news update, my brother, to the spoon. You want to know what is happening, my brother, to the spoon. Politicians want to make their decision, just to the spoon. You want to know what's happening in the ministry, to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah,
You got the Spoon TV. You got the Spoon Radio. Two to Spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two to Spoon. You want to get the news out there? Two to Spoon. What, what? Yeah. Rastafara. Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba. Kili Baba, Kili Baba, Kili Baba. What I want? Yes, I do, but I do. 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 Yes, I do, A wonderful night to you, wherever it is uh, you're listening to us from across Liberia and the rest of the world. Welcome to uh, tonight's edition of Liberia's premier talk show. This is the talk of all talks. This is the Spoon Talk uh, coming to you live from Spoon House here in Congo Town. The time check is 8 minutes after 8 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, the 2nd day of April, 2024. So wherever it is you're watching us from, whether on Spoon TV, Fabric TV, Super TV, or via YouTube as well, uh, Spoon Talk. Or better still, you in Liberia in a nice looking apartment with a beautiful portrait behind you with your dangling earrings and you're wearing something looking like African and you're about to be a panelist on the show as you are already a regular uh, panelist on the show. In fact, a lead moderator as well. I love to say welcome to you in the background. <laughs> <laughs> She's wondering. My name is Diamond Slang. I have James Good the Flomo also here. A lot happening in the country. You know, spoon talk as always. Yesterday, you know, people were calling me like, uh, so Senator Maggio can answer questions. Senator Maggio can answer questions. Y'all go to Senator Maggio's page, y'all go to your who can answer, who can answer. Yeah, we'll lead that one. You know, there are different strategies in how people, you know, tend to be guests on shows. Some are hostile in the sense that they do that to disrupt you. So you don't go and ask them as many questions as possible. They don't want to give out details, either intentionally to withhold the details, or maybe they don't have the details, you know. So they do that to disrupt, to turn it from, you know, being a conversation into something combative. And if you fall for that, that's that, you know. It's a skill that people learn. It's a pattern. If you look at some public speakers, you know, those pol politicians, they do it a lot. You know, this, some of them do it a lot. But whatever the case is, tonight promises to be a different show. I know there will be a lot of comments as to how the show proceeded last night. But as I said, a lot of things happening in the country. You know, a lot of things happening in Liberia. But before we get to all of that and before we start to greet our many, many, many viewers all around the world, we want to read this public service announcement from the National Port Authority. Again, we'll read this announcement. And it reads... The management of the National Port Authority wishes to inform the general public about an ongoing verification and regularization exercise that seeks to ensure accountability for the monthly disbursements or payments to all of its legitimate pensioners or retirees. In view of this exercise, all pensioners or retirees are asked to visit the Human Resource Department of the National Port Authority at the Freeport of Monrovia, Bushra Island, for verification. The exercise runs from Monday, March 25, to Friday, this coming Friday, April 5, 2024, between the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Any proxy and or authorized representative of a pensioner or retiree residing out of Liberia must come along with legitimate and verifiable evidence or documents. As part of this verification and regularization exercise, the management of NPA will visit the homes 
or residents of critically ill pensioners or retirees with disabilities. There will be absolutely no extension or excuse of the two weeks period for this exercise. Thanks for your understanding and cooperation is signed by Malcolm W. Scott, Director, Public Relations, NPA. So my people, this announcement again will read it until Friday, and Friday that the last day. So if you are working with MPA, all the thing you need to do, if you are working and you retire, they pull you down, you know, legally they say your time, you know, you reach the age that you're supposed to sit at home and be with your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, or something happening that you can't work again because probably something happened, you got sick, or something happened on the job, and they say, okay, you need to sit at home, they will pay your late thing every month, they want to call pension. If you are working for the put, the National Port Authority, not just Freeport, but Picana, Sando, Maryland. You're working the employees of the MPA, you're working there before. Go to MPA headquarters to Bushra Island to Freeport and go say, Oh, let me hear James Kude Flomo. I used to operate the forklift. I retire now. Then they will regularize you and validate you. Like all the world may mean, validate me. You have to make sure to authenticate to be a year that you, you real person, your name there for you. If you do it, it on you. You know that someone is a simple mistake, you are. Then you say, oh, I don't know. So that way we can read the announcement in a standard way, don't pull it in a simple English. If your friend all the time, give him or her that message. If you sick, inform MPA people who will come to your house to make sure that you're dead. If you travel, God bless you, you want DV or you travel somewhere that way, you order the country, but you entitled to your pension and you get somebody who can go there for you who been receiving that they call proxy. Let that person go all the document to show that indeed you are working with MPA before and you retire. Hmm? So that is there. Thank you, James. Doctor Richards. Yeah. Uh, good evening, uh, Damo, and uh, good evening, Doctor Richardson, and. Um, Good evening, evening to every, everyone in Liberia. I'm okay, Damo. Uh, how do you do? Dr. Richardson, how is Liberia? I saw you from the Domo shop. Dr. Richardson, you're muted. You are muted. You are muted. It, you're heart burning, huh, James? I ate for you, yeah? I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, guys, it's great to be here. I'm always... Uh, happy when I'm in the company of you and uh, Diamond James and Diamond because you guys are hardworking journalists. Uh, you want to make sure that we are on top of the news. You don't take anything lightly. You are determined to succeed. It's kind of fit into the kind of qualities that I like in a person. So you guys are, you, I'm, I'm always happy to be here and even more happier that I'm across the Atlantic Ocean, except James. James is on the other side. But I stopped at the office of the time when you were in there. But yeah, you are, yeah. But I, I we'll, we'll catch up. I'm sure we'll we need up. to because it's well, becoming a pattern that I need to vanquish. Know, and whenever yeah. you're around, I don't get to see you. <laughs> no, no. This would be joyous this time. Uh, I'm just waiting for us to get some family matters out of the way. You guys know the last of my family members. I'll be quick to let you guys so we can you know tell the people hello and give them the news. But the last of my nieces and nephews, uh, well, my niece and nephews in law, they arrived today. Um, and one of the good things, I one of the things that I want to do, don't wait until you pass away for your wishes to be granted. I'm talking to children. My sister in law had her children in the United States, and her last wish was for them to. This is Liberia one day, and under such condition, they are visiting. I was doing an experiment. Under such condition, they are visiting the country. So we have guests in the country, guests uh, as we usually do. Um, I hope that they find Liberia to be a sweet and loving place, uh, like the mother did. So I want to just welcome my, you know, my nieces and my nephew-in-laws to Liberia, and uh, you know. This, this would be a great time. We'll make sure that they enjoy like your Yeah, hello, hi, Stenson, how you doing? Uh, how you doing? Welcome, okay. your, your, welcome your family to Liberia again. Uh, we understand you guys uh, 
our visitors, but we welcome you guys according to our Liberian tradition. Uh, okay, I ate the more, yeah, but what can I have to get? I had the more. Too bad, you didn't have to. Damo, yes, how you doing? I'm good, Chief. Now, can you find that Domo video on the origins of a single? I beg you. I beg you. Please. Are you big, baby, already online? That well, but you know, I can't specifically put some face where I'm going. But, but, like. but that origins thing, you, you, you screaming, though. You screaming like Glenny. That way of talking can hear my ear, you know? I'm just you telling you, like, You screaming like Glenny, though. You know, I came in peace. You know, I want to enjoy my freedom. Damo, please don't find us. Damo, I've been instructed. you only two weeks in Labra. That Damo will stay in Labra for a little while. So <laughs> he must be a loyal yeah. body citizen. For some reason, Good. I can't find that I've just in Peugeot. Thank Dama, you. There you go. Thank you very much. There you go. You understand that. You understand that. You can't, you can't use my trick against me. <laughs> Doesn't it mean I'm learning? <laughs> Uh, you you learn it too fast. Okay, don't do that. You can't use my trick against me. Uh, it's gonna be a wonderful show today, though. We we expect the uh, high college once may have had some county meetings to attend, so we postpone it for tomorrow. Uh, but it, it's kind of crazy that we will be discussing President George Brandon. We are asset declaration. Can you imagine 2018? Uh, the former president declared his asset and they've been hiding it. But, uh, you know, the good work of Spoon journalists, Damo was on, able to unearth that uh, asset declaration document. Damo, you're the journalist of the year. You're doing extremely well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And Damo was able to bring it forth. And uh, we'll be discussing everything that is in George Bonaway asset declaration. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the black sin. What's going on with that black sin issue? We want to keep those things for, you know, Javon Smith, a uh, representative senator from Riverside County. I'm uploading some videos here, so bear with me. I'm uploading some videos. Look at the video that <laughs> Richardson, look. Who's that? DJ Bob Blue. What is this? Why? Why are you kissing uh, your cat? Well, that, that's the reason why we're going to throw a little light on this, you know, why he kissing your cat. And he kissed your cat, though. He did. He gave your cat a kiss on the jaw. And, and your was rubbing it and licking her finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy, huh? The man kiss your cat. James, a demo, but can you find a video when you went to your cat and kiss your cat? Can you call the staff? Can you call that very special part, please? We got a video to that. I, I, I mean, let's take our time because it's raining, you know, and let's just enjoy it. Did your boy blue kiss your cat? He did. James, you got a video, right? I know you're doing something else, James. So I don't have one. Hey, man, the team today from the Sunday, what can I begin to do? Jane, what are you doing so bad? The man kiss your kid, Damo, you saw it, right? Yeah, so I saw a bit of that video after the session was disrupted. The guy, he said, a bit. The man kiss your kid, ain't no bit. Ain't no bit. DJ Bob Blue kiss your kid on the lip. And I think that, uh, DJ Blue, that my man, but he, he, come on. People so crazy. <laughs> the man kiss your kid. And your mama will call you off today. She start coming in. She off today. Another thing we'll be talking about the issue about the fire. Folks, welcome to the show. I'm just I'm just brain teasing you guys right now. We'll get to the conversation. That what Richard say. Well, but yeah. the issue about the fire, yeah. They met, the fire truck went to do fire service thing. Just to realize that no water in the truck. <laughs> All right, so let's watch it. Yeah, watch it. Fire service, uh, deputy Yes. They call fire service. 
They killed the church, the men were in tar. Right? <laughs> no, nothing in the truck. They put us burn. I think, okay. seriously speaking, I, I, I think it's about time that, you know, they, they, they start suing the fire truck people, the fire service people. Something got to be done. Look at the young man in that video with a, with a pink shirt and the tie on. He got put up fire with Neta. And the truck is there. <laughs> and the people are running. Can you imagine? The truck, hey man, hey man, hey man. I saw it today. I said, hey man, where, 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 where are we as a people? Good question. Where are we as a people? The truck is there. They call for fire truck. They call it Una 911. Yeah, if you call 911, you get the police will come first before the fire truck, before try two, three, four. Let your alarm go off small. Pull it to your door. Is everything okay? Yeah. Is there a fire? Why are they talking to you, the fire truck on the way? Yeah, wow, 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 man. But in Liberia, the fire truck appeared, but no water. And that water can be inside, how you call it? No, that's not the video spawn boy again now. This is real time. This is real time. So in that video, right? Look at the fire chief in the time pink dress shirt. He dressed like a Jehovah's Witness man. No offense to the Jehovah's Witness people. I mean, <laughs> I know we ain't started show yet. You don't get me started. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening. I, I, I you don't get me started. Can you, can you meet yourself? Somebody play something. Good day, let's meet. Good day, can you meet? Mm -hmm. eh, 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 eh. <laughs> where, where, where are we as a people? How many homes, how many properties, how many individuals will die before we know that we are in an emergency? What is in the budget for fire service? We come to America every day we beg. Your girl fire truck, your girl fire pseudo, you give us this, but the common idea is to educate our people to use fire extinguisher. Get, to get, use get. alarm, the common idea to educate our people and say, listen, you can get it for 50 bucks. For 75 bucks, you can get it. The common idea is to say, you know what? Just put it in your Z hall, put it in your Kongu hall. You will hear the alarm that there's a fire. You will be able to extinguish the fire even before the fire truck up. What is the work? But I look at the deputy director or somebody for fire service in Kosu and Tha, and the people house burning. No, 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 no. We started show you. We haven't started the show yet. Let's welcome to Adam. Hello. Thank you so much. I hear you talking. And it reminded me of a colonel, even though you were not in the military. But uh, you, you always come on the show to this. No, 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 I'm getting it, it getting personal on that, Dwadu. So so we have a schedule on the show. When you appear, I will not appear. I've served in the United States military for four days. Listen, I've been busy with my day. No, 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 I can't listen. Can't you at least appreciate the fact that I went through? Thank you, Brian. Sorry. Thank you, Brian. Sorry. Thank you. I'm happy now. Go ahead. Thank you, Brian. Sorry. Listen, ahead. the colonel used to say, you know, I'm saying this to say, the colonel used to say, listen, gentlemen, shoot that you with the expectation that you're going to hit. March, that you're getting to a destination. In Liberia, we want the results of the benefits of certain things, but we don't prepare to attain those benefits. What do you expect the fire service to do? Have we prepared? that they can quench the fire with everything in terms of the training and the equipment and the supplies and the budgetary allocation to this entity? Are we prepared for them to succeed? The issue is no. Houses will continue to be burned. 
And I feel um, bad for those poor people whose houses are getting burned, but we're not prepared to make sure we survive. So we have to behave as though we want the benefits of what we intended to do before we can actually um, benefit from those benefits. Mr. M M Mr. Bob, welcome to the show, sir. Mr. Tobar, brother. As a matter of fact, I see that you're in close to your entire, maybe you're from work. I don't think you're in time because of spoon talk. You know, I, I really appreciate everybody dressing up, but I will be who I am. The course of the entire is only for Sunday, uh, for special meetings. But yeah, I am. Welcome to the show, Azuba. Thank you, my man. Nobody pressuring you. If we got to do something, we we'll get dressed. If we got to do something, we we'll come regular. Uh, uh, Tomorrow, I wear my short shirt and my short dresses. Uh, I live when I see your dry, dry life. <laughs> <laughs> my man, I used to roll tabella before. Don't, don't, don't. Well, I, 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 I said, do you know you want, you want, you want, you want cause? I call nobody in exactly. the Exactly. It's dry, dry level. I, I call nobody in the uh. <laughs> <laughs> But I said, though, this is, this is concerning. This is concerning. I know we started the show here. We get Doyle with his time. Doyle, we got about two more minutes. Because yeah. he came in late. Do your yeah. thing. Uh, while we're uh, uploading all these topics for today, yeah, be uploading the what I see there, guys. Gentlemen, my people, you're welcome to the show. And then, and every once in a while, we time we talk to you because I want you to think about your orientation and where it has gotten us as a society. Every single time we speak, every single time is should we continue doing the same thing in, in, in the words of a great man on the would say and we're expecting something different even though we're doing the same thing we continue to do the same thing over and over this country will not change folks look every single citizen in liberia has a part to play now i do understand governments are instituted to make sure that enabling environment is created so we can properly play our part but by the same token one thing we do forget is this we have to force the government to do what is required so you can meet your full potentiality in, like, in that country. Government is not going to come to San Luis County and do anything if you don't push the issue. If you keep quiet, I mean, keep quiet, you say, oh, you know, I would just pray God would descend from the heavens and come down and, and, and help me. God doesn't work that way, actually. God doesn't work that way. In fact, God will turn his back on you. Sometimes I will make this comment, say God left Liberia in 1990. Yes, I know God is in Liberia. I say that to say this. The way we behave in the country, we make God shame of us. Because look, let me tell you guys, those of you who love to read the Bible all the time, the book of Deuteronomy, Exodus, will tell you this. We are gods on earth. Angels cannot come to this earth and do anything without our approval. So you are God, you have dominion, overlordship over this planet. How are we exerting our overlordship over Liberia when we have foreigners coming to the country? They give pocket change to our officials and they do whatever they want in the country. And guess what? Our young children... Our mothers, our fathers are entirely vulnerable because nobody is doing what they're supposed to do. Government job cannot be about income, my people. Let me tell you something. When you are at above director and above level, it's about legacy. It's something that you've done, you've perfected, you've come to the governmental space so you can leave your name, your proper name. But we take people who have not been tried, who have not excelled at a high level, and we gave them position and we expect them to produce it. That's not how it works. They don't know how to produce, even if they want to. This is not saying to put anybody down, but we say, oh, and Jalu, you're just saying it because you're jealous. Jealous of what, folks? I'm jealous. Yes, I'm jealous because JFK Hospital is like a freaking dumb. It's a death trap. That's what makes me jealous. I'm jealous because Dr. Francine just drove our RIA highway, and it's a death trap as well. I'm jealous because the garbage is still piled up in the city. This part of the little cleanup that's been done by the city mayor. Jealous, poor sanitation, horrible school system. Everything is backward. When are we going to push to fix this? When? Stand to man. Thank you guys so much. Welcome to the show, folks. Everybody, man. Dr. Francine. Uh, before we get to Dr. Francine, we got to do something real quick. We find it a video. I said, can you... Can you Let's give you time, Asi. Just talk to us, your intro. We're trying to upload something for that of Francine. In trouble, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, my intro is really about challenging the diaspora. Can we, you know, we, we talk, we see the flaws, we make justified criticism, 
can we, you know, put some real stake in the game? Not that some people haven't, not that I haven't, not that you haven't, not that other people, but collective, collective effort. Can we find 1,000 Liberians to say that's what Liberians? And people on the ground are welcome to be a part of this kind of effort, right? To say we start to take over our economy step by step. We put $1,000 each together, get $1 million. Arthur, can I interrupt you? Sure. I got 10,224 names right now, willing to give a minimum of $1,000. Right now, that's over $10 million. This is something, look, let's have a show about this. Or let you so, 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 so guys, so guys, guys, we'll have a show of this one. Yeah. I know your passion is same thing running through Paul Kennedy vein. So the best that we can do to organize this thing, we're going to go in the back and discuss it properly. Other folks have reached out to me. So what you are selling as a event so by Dwadu for a very long time, it just tell you that you got over 10,000. Well, I'm just, just saying the platform but it's, it's been my goal for the longest time to to do to do something like this step by step. He got ten thousand people. That's more than wonderful. That's a starting point, and that's a commitment because we can actually. Well, the, first, the, first, the first video of this thing will make ourselves available. The first video is on Saturday. If you guys are available, well, let's stop the talk and let's just do it. Let's stop the talk and let's just come to the table and discuss it. Yeah. If you're not busy, if you're not busy, no, I will interrupt you now because this thing it, 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 it gets to be my passion too. Because one person cannot do it alone. For example, no. our brothers and sisters will be bringing the Ramadan the fast. Yeah. And you know, this month, what are some of our achievements? What are we doing for them? The poor family. That's the biggest celebration. Do I not talk about JFK? People are dying. Yes, indeed. But what is our plan? Should we wait? But I don't know if I had a conversation two, three days ago. I said, Dwight, are you kidding me? Why would people go to Liberia and run for government job? I'm not saying it's bad. But what you know, your profession, and what you have learned, and what you can bring to the table. I mean, we have NGOs all over the world. We have people willing to contribute. And we'll be begging for $3,000 a month for a government job. If we can help our country help us. So let's let's discuss the first meeting. We'll come up with the plan. Let me, let me get into a little G's now. Let me get into a little G's. So, guys, I'm willing to quit my job today if this is very serious thing. Since I let me joke around with me. The SEC, only an American law, you have to follow certain guidelines. The law firms, I have to go through them. I have to set up the website. Fidelity is willing to become a depository for this account. The money is not coming to Dwalu. We set up a board after we raise no, this so, money. No, we no, it's got all of that in the middle. Dwalu, Dwalu. Dwalu. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. We can give it to people for a pre read and then have a so, meeting and move forward. No, we'll have a meeting first and see how we'll get it done. All the people are ready today. You want me to post it right now? Dwalu guy crying, so let's do that. Great idea. Dwalu, 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 I'll put, I'll put, we'll do that. I'll put current. <laughs> I put Corey in Dwalu oh, just now. Yeah, you go Corey, that one I drew. Yeah. That one I drew. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, gotta do something. something. Yeah, we gotta do something. One I, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, my man, time finish. I say, I say, your time finish. You know, 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 you that empowers this particular thing we're talking, you know, we're talking about. It also empowers the people on the ground and brings us together to integrate. And that's one of the major things that moves us forward. And when we start our integration, it's about time that they like minds who really want to move the country forward. And this is, we got to start now because 2029 is not far. It's not about political party, it's about like minds. We try as a diaspora to support candidates that will share our mindset and be able to get into that legislature, whether that's Senate or whether that's House, and push the real better Liberia agenda and not about any one person or their own assets. Or imagine, we are imagine able to do that. Put I, 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 on the ground. I said, thank you. Imagine 10,000 times 100 others. So if everybody just say, you know what? We have hey, 10,000. 1, yeah, 10, no, 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 no. Uh, listen, guys, listen. We have 10,000 individuals, right? Yeah. We're just going to throw in 100 others. How much would that be? 
just for the month of April. Yes, it cannot, it cannot we, do one million. We sell our first million, just one hundred dollars. It means that this group, we have one million to get board voting to to kickstart to do anything with all the other. Listen, listen, this is beautiful. Look at Julie Cassell saying, "Wow." Look, look at the Omar. And, and this Omar, uh, you all know her, right? Yes. The, the Omar said, how much can you stand to Let me get a book from the South Wiley. Let me get a book from the South Wiley stand to No, 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 no. Take it easy now. Take it easy. God time is the best time. We love to, we love waiting for time is easy. Sometimes you think it is not right. It's OK. What for God time? 10,000 individuals are more than that. Stand on a pretty thing down to one reason, four reasons, and one reason, four reasons, and 1,000. So we have, have, you have to limit it. No, 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 but I am telling you, no, 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 we we'll have the conversation in the back, guys. Dr. Richard said, what I'm saying here, Dr., even if you don't have it, even if you push pushing cartoon like some of us, that you work from nine to five, right? Even if you come here as a CNA or home FA or LPN or RN or factory or Amazon push up, whatever your career may be, and you say, but I would take this one month to give $100. Imagine you just passed over one million United States dollars. What can a one million United States dollars do? I'm not talking about the high end people. People like Dr. Richardson are willing to put 1,000. Folks like Asif Vala are willing to put 1,000. I'm not talking about we, the small people that won't come with our 100 dollars. I'll put right? in there, How can right. this? Everybody, welcome. Look, how I can this how can this everybody. be a blessing? Let me say this. When Joseph Yema Bwaka was running and you had John Bolu on the show, Dualu, total, how much did we got a year on Sponto? How much was raised, Dualu? In total of uh, just one year. In night. total, over 350,000. That's correct. Over 350,000. That's right. Look, so we can we do can it. do it. Say, no, let me get the post on it without reading now, begging you. For no, those don't get a nothing to read. No, don't get a nothing to read. Don't get a nothing. My man, let's teach the man of the people. Stop reading. No, 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 no. Let's teach the man of the people. Keep that. Right. That's slow down, brother. This thing is a long way. We got this thing done. We should okay. do this. I won't get a nothing to read, but I want to get given the assurance. This will be organized on the American law, on the SEC yes. guidelines. Everything yes. will be an American company, but with the intent to invest we're in right. Liberia we're exclusively. Lawyers, lawyers this is not free America. money, by the way. It's an investment, guys. With lawyers here in right. America. It's not, it's not for charity. Not that we don't have a corporate oh. social responsibility obligation or as citizens to do some things. But the investment has to start to mature and, and, and profit before we can start talking about charity. So this is okay. business. And that's what it is. This is what this is what we do for you. Monday before the show, we give you a blueprint, exactly what we're talking about. You hear from Dualu, Dr. Richardson, Ava, and the rest of us. We will we will get into this because it will be listen. We can buy some of these companies out there. Those concession agreement that people pay ten thousand dollars for, and they digging go and diamond and running all of the country, and they're making millions of dollars. We can get them. Stay there, you know what I want? The airport. What we want? I want what to we control want? the airport. What I want, we want to control the sea ports. Look, the money is out there. Liberians are eager. Look, this is a one-year term to raise this money. We can raise close to a billion dollars. This is not, it's not an exaggeration. Liberians no, are willing not. to get well, it's a, look, it will take a whole year to contribute. Well, we and got, you can contribute. I'm not the person on. joking, Dwalu. We got somebody there saying that we can give 10000 They're not joking. Already. People are not joking. People are actually calling me and say, Dwalu, I can get $10,000. This is not free money. I want to stress this point. This is an investment. If you will get a well, certificate, so you will get guys, interest. Guys, we get it going, right? Everybody will hear from the network this thing. I think we established ourselves accordingly. And then we will come back to you on Monday, which will be so interesting. And discuss more as to what we're going to do. We're not let this slide. I spoke to Dwaru three days ago. Dwaru, when I was giving him some vision and telling him exactly what Labrador need, Dwaru paused and I could hear him crying on the phone. I said, Dwaru, are you okay? He said, Oh man, I got to take a break. You know, I just don't believe in working for it's the It's an but not far from the truth. But this is that. <laughs> Oh, man, you, you, you make pretend people like Dwalu to know that, he, that he's emotional, he's sensitive. No, 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 no
Because what happened is that what happened is that to tell you the truth, that's a that's a rich thing. And I told Dwaru, look at what look at what Zogos on the street. Hmm. Look at the mental health aspect where you have Dr. Richardson, the woman that dive into that part, that department. When you have Fadika, Fadika, that's why he he for his rest of his life, he's been working in mental health in Minnesota. When you have uh, 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 Fatima, I can tell you right now, Fatima, Fatima is running beyond all the children that are trying to kill themselves. They say they want to commit suicide. That's her job. In Camden, in all over, she's running beyond them, counseling them, taking them from one hospital to another hospital, from one mental home to another mental home. Imagine you have this group of Liberians and more. The other dude that always called me and made play with me every day here, about to call me again, Robert Daka Shea, a brilliant, <laughs> crazy guy. Great of mine, yes. I know yeah. What you're about. yeah. Imagine he's coming on. People want to do this thing. It's not about political. Oh, you, bring it, you bring it, you bring it, you bring it, Doc on? I got to bring him on. I like him. He's crazy, but I like him. That might be but, good. But it, <laughs> He's not, not, but he all right. He yeah. All right. But it's not about political party. It's about Liberia. Keep your party to no, yourself. It's not. Seriously. Let's talk seriously. about Liberia. Look, and if, we, if we establish this thing and we build relationship with the shared minds, we have a change in our country in a shorter time than expected. Seriously. And, if, and, and I think say, you're right. No, and then couple with that, and somebody mentioned it. I've been a big advocate of civics. If we don't teach our people civics, let them just understand the form of governance we got. Everybody was talking about how you know governance. Let yeah. teach it. He will be one of the teachers of the classes. That uh, <laughs> uh, just go ahead. No, if if people know that. civics. If they start that's what I'm like What characteristics? What qualities? What competences do I want in a leader? If they can understand how democracy is set up, if they can understand their own rights. Yeah, we got to demonstrate everything and stuff, but that's not the limit. But we got potential, folks. We really yeah, have yeah, that's that's like yeah. that, that the richest thing you want to speak on this. I know I want something to hit you hard, that the richest thing before I bring you in. I was going through Facebook, I came across Amara Corner page, right? Look at some of this thing. Our babies. Look at some of this. My man, now they get all right. Eh? <laughs> I mean, no, we we do this. Already Look, do. If I show if I show your pictures from River Cess with the children there, you know, walking, trying to get water, the, the distance they can travel to go to the well. Okay, the literature. You no, know, some people argue and say, oh, that the time they get as no, 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 I understand. Maybe people will say, you know what? That's in the interior. You know, we got a mindset, right? That's in the interior. But I say, you know what the picture right now, the picture you're looking, you know what it was taken from? She's right on the city. right floor, right in the city. Right in the city. In on the last floor. 2024. Our baby. Can you think about it? Look at this little girl. Her mom or her dad sit down and say, go get water. Go get water. What are that? Drinking water? Well, let me let me get an example. What I, no, no, no. Let that Richardson come in. You will come in. That Richardson, I see that. Don't, don't, don't shed the tears now. But this is this is beyond the worst of our days in in, in Liberia. Talk to us, Doctor. Yeah, um, I mean, this picture makes me sad. Uh, you know, this is how we are losing our future generation. There's a lot of sickness, and people are dying. And they say they don't have, know the new causes. Um, the body can only be immune to a certain extent. You know, this is this is dirt. This is, I'm sorry to say. You know, people can say, "Oh, your body, your body gets used to this," but you know, uh, again, our body. Yes, you can die. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it, it stays inside of you. So it's not only important for us to have clean water and make it accessible to our children, to our, you know, uh, parents, but this is the, the future generation. We are losing them. You know, we want to talk about investment. Uh, our investment will only be as good as this generation here. Because somebody will have to carry it on. We're not going to be here forever. And if we don't prepare in a way where we'll be empowering this generation, this young girl, then, uh, you know, we can, we can do the best, which I'm sure is going to, whatever ideas are out there is going to include, you know, making sure that the young people of our country are empowered. 
I have to add today, you know, I'm hearing background noise. Yeah. Today, I actually was at JFK. I was almost in my element. Um, I got to meet, I want to say hello to Dr. Johnson, Dr. Tyler, and Mary, who is in charge of the imaging department. Mary, I'm sorry if I'm getting, I'm forgetting your name. They all watch Spoon, they love Spoon. It's funny, I went on a different business. I'm doing research in the country. And before I complete my research, I have to apply something that we call research and ethic review board. And great, the NIH, which is the National Institute of Health, is in Liberia. They've been studying COVID and Ebola. Interesting, you know, they've been here since COVID and Ebola happened in Liberia. And I told them today, you better keep an eye out, you know, just to make sure that we are not being used as guinea pig or anything like that. But, um, you know, they were very happy to know that, you know, the watch Spoon, that Spoon is doing a wonderful job in educating the people, like Ava says, civic education, um, how important that is for the people of Liberia. Um, and then also, you know, it was just great to be able to explain the research to them and present my, R, my um, RERB, which is the Ethic and Review Board protocol that I took to them. Um, they always see me as, as you know, Dr. Richardson on Spoon, not Dr. Richardson, the psychologist. So it was just really interesting. Liberian women are doing great things. I'm sorry to say, I know you guys, the men are here. Um, I, Dr. Johnson, you know, she's a, a doctor in charge of the COVID and uh, Ebola unit there. Dr. Tyler was there with, with them. And Mary, Mary went to school in India, public administration, top notch woman. So uh, the women are doing great things. Somebody said to me, Dr. Dwan, was it you that said that um, at the end of the day, the men will be dropping the women to school and then having punched back and probably some plastic problems while the women will be educated? I, I, somebody said that because at this point, it seems like all of the, our men are, you know, the only whites and that's the primary job. And so the, well, the ladies are, they drop the women to school um, and then um, the, the boys are driving the bikes. So at the end of the day, in the next five or six years, we'll see them being probably sick, some medical problems, or, you know, ponyo, as we call it here, hernia, but we call it ponyo in the country. <laughs> and the girls have continued to be educated. So that's how it is right now. But it was good. Good things are happening. Uh, they're keeping an eye on NI, uh, NIH that is doing Ebola research work. They're trying to find a cure for COVID, uh, the vaccine, to continue studying COVID in our country and also um, continue studying um, Ebola so that when Ebola hits again, we should have instant medication. In, a, in as much as the NIH is here, they want to help us, but I also like to keep a fair eye. I don't trust any foreign agent that, you know, that comes into another country. I, I'm just cynical like that. I want us to keep a fair eye. But thank, thank you, you Dr. Richardson. So you go to Labrador to do research? Yes. Why not? Labrador is fertile ground for research. I just asked him my question. Please. I just said you went to Labrador to do research. You know, I'm let me say But I have a team of other psychologists that are working in the Department of Psychology in, in, at the Macaulay University. I got them to be interested in Liberia. So we are working together. We probably partner with some with the, the doctors at GFK to give us more support and strengthen our research. That's kind you of the conversation. Yeah. And I respect you. And you listen, and you know that we really, really, really appreciate what you do. Uh, but you. When, when I'm saying that you went to Liberia to do research, uh, Liberians, like Gula men and People that know Liberia and are born in Liberia that, that, that grew up in the in, in, in the swamp area of Liberia, we don't need to go to Liberia to do research. We 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 know that we are Liberian. We know the terrain. We know what is happening in our country today. You don't need to say Ava in Riverset to tell you about Riverset. But we understand where you coming from. We feel your pain, Dr. Richardson. Okay. You have to spend almost five thousand dollars to go to that bro just to do research. No, don't break down the effort, <laughs> the solid effort and sacrifice. Of that don't talk to me. Leave my thing alone. Let me talk to Dr. Richardson. Yes, I'm a gift. They say he the best noon 
uh, governance person on the show last night. He smiled at all, all on the show. So Stella is telling me that. Uh, no, no, no. We appreciate you. Know, well, welcome to the show, Paul Kennedy. Welcome to the show, Andrew Mama. It's good to have I you. Know, I love your outfit. I can please put it in the bag. I'm coming for it. I will buy you a new one. <laughs> we're going to hang out tomorrow. Tomorrow is ladies' night. We're going to hang out. Okay. I will tell she you. Can be, she can be hiding with your candle like, bro, and your mama, don't mind her. Yeah, I'm also doing it. 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 I'm yeah, it's part of it. You gotta, you gotta burn the palm down. You gotta separate it. It's part of research. But I'm gonna pin it, like, bro. No. I'm gonna pin it. Let, let me put it go there and go. With yeah. the city. Oh, okay. The king to the station. You're waiting for me the other day, but I was running late. All right, but that original say have a good stay, like, bro. Folks, let's start the show. Uh, it's good to have you, Angie Mama. Again, we were expecting uh, Javon Smith, the senator from River says. He couldn't make it because the county is having, having some kind of big meeting and you got to be in the county. Having the show from Riverside would be very bad due to the internet problem. So but he will be in studio tomorrow. And we are not forgetting the Black Sand story. We are not forgetting about the incident of those that died in Riverside. We'll be discussing it tomorrow. And also, you'll be having a meeting, a press conference, joint press conference tomorrow on agriculture, on rubber issue. So after that press conference, it will be the best time for him to come on Spoon Talk to further talk to the Labyrinth folks. Again, we we'll welcome Senator Javon Smith uh, tomorrow as our guest. Secondly, we can announce also that uh, there was scheduled retreat for the lawmakers, but they can't say it. They can't say it because no money. The senator will go on a retreat to discuss the issue about the budget and the, the war and economic crime code, but they cancel it because reason that no money. They need retreat for that? Yeah. They say they need to stay away from the Capitol building. <laughs> no, but go <laughs> ahead. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's a good question. So let's come to you. Talk to me. Why, why, why you say they need retreat for that? Have your telesecond, Dwalu. Senator, during the war, we had discussion on a power hut. Look, the people's business can be discussed everywhere if they have quorum. That retreating that young go drink free beer, they take a late tent and they go to the hotel that we pay for, they drink all kind of things. Wow, what people are suffering. My only thing I do is as a it up put it in the girl up bring men and women to work. Every other thing I don't I'm not interested because the country will not change. The same time representing not zero. I've been talking about I come here with the next video so you will be up in jail. All right, thank you. Uh, the retreat issue, Andrew Mama. What I mean, let's start with that conversation. They are they, they are having a retreat, but they can't say they say, Listen, the budget have not yet passed, we don't have money, we cannot go to the Fremonton Hotel. And that was somehow is right though, because that's a lot of money for all 30 of them hotel, feeding, and everything. Andrew Mama, was it a good idea? Well, um. They could have done it at the capital. They don't have to have a retreat out, out of the, the capital. They can do it right at the same place. Then they don't have to spend a lot of money. So why are they going out? They can do it right at the capital building. And they have the budget. So as long as they, they, they will hold the budget, <laughs> complication will come and everybody will feed the pain. So all they have to do, try to have that budget discussed right at the Capitol building. It will cut down costs. You don't have to buy gas. You don't have to go out of town. And then uh, you're going to save some money. So if they say that they're there for the people and they're trying to save some money to help the poor people like Brother McGill said last night, then we've got to start cutting down costs. You know, that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, Ava, a retreat or no retreat? Every instance we have to cut down costs, we should do it, and we shouldn't look for opportunity to spend more of the people's money. They don't need a retreat to make these these decisions. They got the big one of the biggest facility in the country. They can say no staff come around here. We'll be the only ones here. We sit down in this conference room. You just bring four us out of the door, and we we'll make the decision for this country for this budget. And 
everything would be fine. Oh, wow. Uh, Paul? Yeah, thank you, CEO. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's, it's, com it's complicated, uh, CEO. Uh, and I'm saying it's complicated for a reason. Uh, when you visit the legislature, when you... Can everybody hear me? I yes. see CEO. Okay. When you visit Capitol Hill, you think you are in church. I mean, every legislature office you go to, there's a long bench of people sitting there waiting. Even while they are in section, there's a lot of people all, almost always sitting and waiting for them. So in my mind, I, I would think that the retreat would be to confine them in a particular area that will make them to focus on just a subject matter. Because at the legislature, they are having meetings. They are moving here. They are doing that. They are taking phone calls. They are engaging other community members. The people are coming to them with issues so uh, the, the retreat is intended to take them away from all of the rumbles of town so that they sit somewhere to con you know, concentrate, to focus on a particular major issue. That's how you know, they can get it done. Now, do we have the money at this time in the country, like Liberia, to do that? Uh, I don't want to believe so. So when you hear me say it's complicated, that, that's where it comes from. Sometimes the retreat is necessary to give you that quietude so that you are able to focus. Yeah, they go on every snow farm. Yeah, they go on every snow yeah. farm. Yeah, they, so they can go, Dwalu, it does not have to be farm it on. They can decide Thank to you. go somewhere, exclude themselves from town, go to one of the legislature's farm to say, listen, I'm hosting you in Bapulu or maybe in Tottenham, bro, so that you can come and really discuss the issue away from the other prevailing issues you have in Monrovia. So, I mean, that's, that's why I said it was complicated. I don't think they have the money to do it. Uh, like, Dwalu made a good suggestion. They should, somebody should volunteer to host them. And then everybody said, you know what, bring a cup of rice. Let them do JBC so that they can have the discussion on the, on the budgetary issue. But I think it's necessary. Yeah, I'm right, going to get, what, 700 mm -hmm. acres? Uh, Ali Tyler got a farm. They all claim they have a farm. They can go on one of their farms and have a power what? out there. My opinion is they can stay right in Morovia and have to retreat. Their phones will be with them when they go to Farmington, so they will be distracted. It's not going to be different. Because there's new curtains, new new uh, tiles, that doesn't mean that they're going to have new ideas. Okay, Ideas can be created wherever you are. You can be innovative wherever you are. I'm concerned that if Evan Snow or anybody for that matter, any of their colleagues for that matter, uh, uh, volunteer to host them. We have some ethical issues because people might feel compelled to, you know, vote according to the way that Edwin Snow is voting, or people might feel like they owe him something. So they can stay right in that Capitol building. They have one of the, somebody said the largest space. You said, Mr. Paul Kennedy, that they have benches in their offices. Uh, they're not in their offices, so they're in the chambers. They can lock the door, as somebody said, and store, brainstorm. Talk, talk it out, talk the budget out, and come out with a great conclusion. You know, when you move to a new location, if you're smart, if you have ideas, and you're making some, you have solutions. The new location, you know, it helps, but it doesn't make you smarter. So that's what I have to say. Yeah, but my thing is on that note is that I think it's just a BS. The whole retreating. Go ahead and make it fun. Say they want to run away from their girlfriends, their boyfriends, their children, that of them business. I think it's just a BS. Okay, there is no if you want that. I said what I said. You want to do the people job, you will. If these guys are serious to work, they will work. They don't need to go spend extra money to hotel. Who are they taking to those hotels? That will say, Standard, you disrespect you. No, let me frame. Sit there, even if you that. We asked my guy yesterday, Will you take pay because the president called your body? He said, Yes. The money the government really looking for that's the money the government spending. And we should be able to celebrate that people go on retreat that will solve the problem. They have gone on retreat before. What's the game over here, folks? Let's stop playing, man. They retreat till like Dwaru said, let them stop the fun. If they want vacation, they won't go ahead. Let them go ahead and what they want to do in Femiton Hotel or let them go in Ghana to go have retreat oh, by themselves. Let Labyrinth people want results. That's what we're looking for. The budget is 692. 
Flatty Kofi and the other people see that it is necessary to carry the budget up at least between 750 to 800 million dollars. Have you asked how they will raise the money? Education. They say they put 100 million or 100,000 or whatever it is. It's not getting to the people. Healthcare is not getting to them. Not because you pay salary means you're solving the people's problem. Today I heard a lawmaker requesting for each, each county they want $1 million. Wow. They want to include that in the budget. Each county, $1 million. So imagine, most Colorado County, if you give most Colorado $1 million, they myself were doing the math, they will be getting up for the 8000 for one district. How much is for the 8000 for a district? One million is 50 million in the budget for 15 counties. Well, since can, we, do, can we at least do more? And who the money going to? Going back there. Is that a new form of the thirty thousand dollars you guys don't want to eat? Because maybe that's a new form of the thirty thousand dollars. Must they go on a retreat before the people know that they're working? Do I don't talk to me, man? They don't put stop playing with the pop the population of Maserado is about 30% of the national population, right? Am I right, guys? So I don't know who's doing that math. If you're not basing on population, it's say for example, Rewa says how what three districts, right? I say two or three districts. So you want to tell me a, a, a place like Mosserado, two districts, a place like Mosserado that has 17 districts will get as Rewa says. I mean, they have to stop this thing. It, it, look, I'll turn out again. Look at our country, we'll give you thingy like that. The princess and I'll give no new idea. At the end of the day, if if, if I, I don't know how some of the guys think. I think when you pay people too much money, they get they get they get care. They just a tendency not to care, especially free money. No, but some people just don't have the ability to allow. That, that one not true. Some people don't know about proportional apportionment. They don't know about creating other factors. Let's say we look at the entire country. River Te River says River G probably Sino. They got probably the three worst indicators across anything. So you say we give a certain factor to give more funding here. Okay, Montserrat obviously has the most amount of, um, you know, districts, then followed by Nima, then Bourne County. So because of the population, we get an X. But you got to factor in these different things to be to have some kind of equitable level of distribution based on needs and situation. Unfortunately, our people are not thinking that way. Our leaders, for, for that matter, are not thinking that way. So it's just like just automatic division, you know. So yeah, you but, got but, three districts. And, and and Ava is right because the appropriation should be based on the national priority. You know, I was disappointed when I saw this national budget with the whole arrest uh, uh, logo that's going around country. And agriculture gets how much? Five million. You bring five million to you bring five million to agriculture in the Republic of Liberia. Paul, Paul, not to not to interrupt you. Paul, not to interrupt you. But the government both the prior government they need to do a better job of the money we borrow for agriculture the 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 the, the uh, grants we get for agriculture 300 400 million dollars sitting down or not being utilized properly if you check the the allocation to agriculture for any income we have gotten as a country is significant but the sector has not moved and they need to analyze that they need to change that hopefully this new administration is really thinking along those lines because Thank you. if they do without well, getting food, Thank you, Alpha. I'll Paul, finish up your thoughts. Let's go I, into I, the other conversation. And, and, I, and I agree. And I agree with Alpha. Listen, you know, Alpha, you could have all the money in the world if you're not strategic. You're not going to know how to use it, right? Yes. And, and one of the one of the one of the things that I've have lived and seen that our country does not do well. Our country doesn't believe in having technocrats, people who have the specialized understanding of anything to lead those things. So as a result, you see people going to agriculture to, to be ministers there on research when they do not even know the research methodology. Nobody who does not have a master's degree understand research because in, as a bachelor, you don't do research. <laughs> you have not really done a research work to understand the research methodology to be innovative, to do any creation work. Agriculture is informed by a lot of research. You know, I, 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 like, I think like first, to lead in a new direction of putting the right things to the right place. And I agree with Dralu that smart thinkers, big minds, should converge now to begin to think how we'll move our country forward. Thank you very much, Paul. Let us rest for Dr. Richards here and Angie Mama. We've got to move on. 
yeah, I know Angie Marlin coming here, but I wanted to just say something in, in relation to what Ira was saying. It's so easy for us to just want to give a thousand dollars. That's the easy way out. Okay. The hard way is looking at resources and needs of the Liberian people. The hard way is looking at what do they need in these different counties. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to work for the Liberian people. So the easy thing is, that, oh, we're going to throw out a thousand, a million dollars to each county. That's easy to do. So I just wanted to support what I was saying in terms of not being innovative. Thank you very much, Andrew Mama. Then we'll talk about the fire issue. The fire issue is very important because we have someone uh, that we bring you on the show. He's the only person in Liberia supplying the fire truck with water. And I know you guys are going to get angry. I want him to explain his story. The only person, because he got these tangles that distribute water, he's the only person. So if he said no to water, then the people horses will burn us at just at home. But Andrew Mama, let's hear you on this issue very quick. What we close in with, then we'll move to the fire story. Yeah, agriculture. I think I think the money, the money should be increased to a level where you can have farmers grouping, let government be able to buy the machinery so that it can be able to go into mechanized farming. I proposed that when our deputy minister of commerce to the World Bank and they, they okay that we said it was very, it was a very good idea for us to do mechanized farming. That's what it did. I remember in 1973 when I was just I think I was, was just a little girl. I remember they had Acromingo. It was a Jewish company, Acromingo. They were doing mechanized farming in in Grand Chile. They were doing it in um in um Foya and they were able to export a lot of rice in Liberia had sufficient rice on the market here. Yeah. I'm not saying they, they were not importing rice, but because of that mechanized farming that were going in different, different countries, we were able to export rice and have sufficient on the market. So if the government can look at that in that direction, or we can buy the machinery, when this other country finished with the machine, we'll move it to the other country, and then we'll create the big rubber farming and rice farm where you would create jobs also. People will be working there because they don't have machine to cut to cultivate the rice and also to 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 process the rice and 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 will make a lot of money and then you create jobs at the same time so students can leave work and go on the on the farm and work and come back and they'll have some uh money at least to 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 be on them to buy uh a food or other or pay the rent so mechanized farming will be the solution. You can put 100 million, 300 million, as long as that money is being distributed gradually to different, different farmers will get the same old result because the same old thing over and over. But we should look into the back of that farming. I think there will we'll be, if we hear that, that, that way we'll be able to do something good. Thank you very much, Auntie Mama. Thank you, guys. Let's talk about the fire issue. I said, do welcome to the show. The situation that took place today, remember the fire situation brought down Sir Joseph home. Uh, and I heard that Sir Joseph passport or his cell phone, his money that he had in this, he never had the money in the safe. He had the money in the drawer. Uh, thousands of US dollars, everything got burned. Uh, he went to the insurance company for the insurance to pay insurance, say, well, you didn't declare your asset. Okay. So that was the issue. Uh, so, let's just, so let's just be serious for a minute. You guys got to start giving me this kind of story. It's not right. So I just said that's my friend. But let's go ahead. Uh, let's play this thing there. And I'll bring in Mohammed Ba. Mohammed Ba is someone that's supplying water to those trucks. Okay? Let's just play what happened today. <laughs> So it's a 29 second video. It took place on 12th Street. And we said thank you very much. I said, do uh, send our information. And the spoon guys receive it, and then we went ahead, and we got a full story. The, the truck went in there with nothing, zero. And the person in the house got gotten on fire. So let me bring in Mohamed Ba. Mohamed Ba, welcome to Spoon Talk. Just for a few seconds, thank you for joining us. And you reached out to me about this fire situation. 
Can you tell us your story of what do you do for the fire service? Well, thank you guys for having me. Well, my name is Mohammed Ba. I happen to be a co-owner of uh, Skywater. We are located on uh, Tony Street. I mean, sorry, we are located on 10th Street uh, on the avenue. So um, it's just unfortunate that every time the fire service will go to extinguish fire, it's either they are shut on water and the community or the people within Sinko, Congo Town, Central Monrovia will hurriedly rush to my place and get my trucks out there. And um, for instance, like today on 12th Street, it was my truck that uh, that extinguished the fire. It was in the, the fire service truck. So I'm not understanding what you said. We saw the fire service truck though. Is that fire service truck your truck? No, no, no. The white truck was there. So was the there a fire white... service? Was that fire service there... truck at the same? Yes, we got okay. there, and yeah, there was a fire service truck there. But the 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 advantage our trucks have the same the same work the fire uh, the fire service truck does. My truck do uh, do the same because we have the pressure gun on it. So at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, you are telling us, what did you do? Who called you on the scene? Can you explain that, please? So normally, if there is fire around Sinko, Congo Town, uh, there's this police officer that normally call, call us, or sometimes the people themselves rush to the compound to, to seek help. So guys, that's, that's the part of the story. I got a question for, for Mohammed uh, then, because as we see, let me play this again, just on the 29 second. James, can you take one of your 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 login down, James? I'm having a problem and to bring in Mr. Jackson. Let me play this 29 second, then we can go to you guys at least. We're gonna have some questions. <laughs> All right, that's the richest thing you got question. Let's just ask mom a few questions. We see exactly what he's saying. But like he said, the level of fire department is, is zero to nothing. Zero. <laughs> you know, what we just saw is just an epitome, is an example of what usually uh, happens in Liberia. People are not prepared for the positions that they hold. They're not uh, knowledgeable about how uh, instruments work, like a fire truck, how does that work? When we had the appointments of these people to the different organizations, I think many of us spoke against uh, having someone in charge of fire services who didn't even understand the mechanism, who didn't even understand the science behind fire, didn't even understand arson investigation, didn't understand, you know, the chemicals that are needed to put a fire. You know, so when it, it saddens me because this is a loss of somebody's life, somebody's property. And here it is, our people are joking by putting, you know, people who don't even have a clear understanding or holistic understanding of the, the, what it takes to put a fire out and you have to go borrow somebody else's truck. What, what are we doing? Why is that? Why do we have to, why we have a fire service and here, here it is, we are borrowing a private citizen's truck. Who, who holds the liability if something should happen? Is it the Liberian government or this guy who's offering his help? But you're right, Stanton, you said earlier that maybe we should start suing, the, 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 the citizens should start suing the Liberian government, but I don't even know what it would get out of it. Thank you, Auntie Mama. You want to add? Is that what is studio, Auntie Mama? Oh. Oh, okay. You can hear me now? Yes. Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. I was saying, uh, this guy was speaking. I want to ask him, how long has he been helping the government to do this? And whether he has fire extinguisher? 
that, those are the questions I want to ask. Okay. Can you stand up? I think Angel Obama is finished. I don't know if he's still there. Yeah, Mr. Dwalu, go ahead. I was talking to you. So. Um, the, the thing is, I, I always tell us to be practical about how we do Liberia. I kind of bust up my own secret. I spent my 21st birthday between Vietnam and Laos. We want to go do great on this. You know, after training, we want to go enjoy ourselves. And, and I noticed something. So we had a party at this hotel. There was a bunch of Marines. We rented a hotel. And what the people did between Vietnam and Laos, they have a massive population in these locations. They duck this world. They were very practical. They don't use fire trucks. They use this mobile machine and they have these massive water pumps on them. So every community would dig a well and they have a thousand feet hose. So from every house, if they yet drop in the well and start the machine, they cut the fire off. So they, they, they position this well around the community. Look, the massive fire truck for Liberia seems like a good idea. We do not have the community roads to accommodate these, to these vehicles. But we're not being practical. Look, sometimes we have to look at the issue. We cannot take a solution from Sweden and think it's going to work in Liberia. We have not got into that level yet. What does God do between Vienna and Laos? They will just take the horse. If there's a fire, you just see this pickup running there. They drop the horse in, in the well and they start the machine, they start spraying. So there was water that could reach every single house because the wells were not molded anywhere from a thousand feet apart. And the people in the community during the day, they used those wells. Why are we replicating something like this in Liberia? We can't look to maintain what that fire truck takes a lot of money. We don't have the money. The fire truck entire budget cannot purchase one fire truck. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Go ahead, man. Stand on your mute. I think, um, Mr. John, uh, I tried. I, I wanted to bring the gentleman on, but his internet. So let's just finish with him. I might give me a few seconds. Let me put you in the back. You'll come and ask your question. Uh, then we we'll just feel away. So, so, Mr. Bai, are you with us? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, I, I, the fire, Labra Fire Service paying you for your services? No, 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 no. They just volunteer. Yes, so, uh, NDG Mama asked a question how long uh, my company been uh, helping. So, we've been helping for the least I can remember since 2017. And uh, for every fire situation within Central Monrovia, uh, Sinko, Congo Town, we are always there. And uh, we were also part of the team uh, that uh, helped to do the the GMB JKK, you know, extinguishing the fire within the garbages around Monrovia and even to Wen Town. Okay. And you just been doing this just by yourself, your team, no pay, nothing yeah. coming back to you. Yes, sir. Okay. So my own challenge is the only time sometimes when they come over to my place is at night. People will hurriedly rush to my compound. And then I'll have one of the managers call me or the security call me to authorize them to go on the fire scene. Sometimes I will, I will say no because there is no police to escort the truck because, you know, sometimes when you go in these situations, uh, it stands. Some people be taking the trucks to be fire service truck. Oh, you can they turn the fire, finny, uh damage the property. They turn your coming, they start throwing stone at the trucks. So that's the only time I don't go when I don't have police escort or there is no so, police on the scene. So if you don't go, people die and people properties just get destroyed. Because you're the only person saving lives and properties. Paul Kennedy. I'm a, I'm a victim of a fire disaster. My house, my apartment, everything I brought from the U.S. burned on May 31st of 2018. Everything. I, everything I had in that room. And at the point of time, I live on Front Street at the corner of Front and Gurley Street intersection. And you know they have the fire station right there on Archmont Street. I ran that night to the fire service station. Uh, there's a fire truck, but the battery in it didn't work. So they had to go to um, lose the battery from another truck to bring it to the, the truck that had water in it. They put the water in the truck, but then the truck 
had this um, water machine, water pump machine sitting at the back. So it did not have enough pressure to, to sprinkle the water in the house. And then they came and passed around and went and entered the garage. But then the, the hose they had on the truck was not enough to reach my apartment because at the time I was on the second level. What? It, 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 fire problem in Liberia is a compound complex issue. I mean, just like Dwalu said, I don't know how we're going to fix those problems, but time in the game in Memorial, uh, I don't think the government have paid any serious attention. Come on, man. Monterado has 17 districts. Why do we have less than five fire trucks in Monterado? If we have one district, each district has a police station. Why can we have at least one fire truck, one police car at a police station in each district? That's 17 fire truck. If we are paying money for this fire truck since 2012 or 2006 up till now, by now we'll have 17 fire trucks in 17 districts. That way you don't need to come from Gelly Street all the way to Nizo. It's not feasible, it's not practical for a fire truck to leave Gelly Street to get to Nizo before the house burn. <laughs> so most of the so, time, once so, the fire truck gets uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to quote you. I'm trying to say if you have a question for Mohammed now, because so, then we so, can so, relieve so him. Mohammed, Mohammed, thank you for your great job. Uh, I just wanted to ask, Normally, do you pack your trucks with fire in it? How are you aware that fire is about to raise up and they always run to you to be able to be the rescue, the rescuer for the fire disaster? So um, I would say that uh, I have at least uh, 18 to 20 trucks functional. I supply water in and around Monrovia and to neighboring counties as far as Nimba County. So I always have water in my trucks. But how do they reach you? Like I said, there's this police officer that I normally call my manager and, uh, oh, there's fire at this place. And then he would just hurriedly send the trucks there. Or sometimes the people themselves run to the compound on 10th Street to 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 seek help. Okay. Isaac, do you got a statement? You got a question, Isaac? Mr. Jackson, you have anything to say? Isaac, you're muted. You want to say something? Well, let, let, let me say hi to all of you first, and to the listener, uh, Mohammed. Hi, my brother. I'm not sure if I know you, I think, or something like that. Uh, not much of a question to you, but just to say thank you for helping. Um, we know it's not easy, but for the fact that you've uh, dedicated yourself to helping Liberia is a good thing. I want to applaud you for that. Uh, keep doing what you do, and um, hope together all of us can make uh, our country better. Um, the issue of fire has been um very concerning um it's been so crazy every day you have houses burning here and there people lost and loved ones you have our uh, properties being damaged and a lot of things going on uh, uh, it's just been crazy we we we, uh, we are looking forward to you know having this holistic approach um by which these things can be curtailed a little bit because um uh, i think um uh, most people can agree that uh, what we've experienced over the short period of time uh, has been something we've never seen before. Uh, it's just been so crazy. And sometimes I want to wonder what actually is going on. And, uh, if there are plans at all to ensure these things can be tackled, uh, I hope they can do something. But on the bottom line, my brother, thank you for what you do. And I um, want to encourage you to keep doing what you do for like this. Thank you very much, Asad. Uncle Sam, can you go last? Because then we'll, we'll move on. Well, basically, uh, Mr. Mohamed Bad, uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. You clear now? Yes. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, Mr. Mohamed Bad, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you. I mean, you know, uh, the, there are a lot of uh, heroes in the country. They don't make a lot of noises. They don't have a lot of high profile and you're one of those people I want to thank you so much. Uh, I just hope and pray that uh, our our rescue team now can uh, they fix the mistakes that they told the voters that, that the previous administration was making. They can accelerate uh, a, an effective fire service. But let me ask you a question. If you if you were asked, uh, to, like in a nutshell, to like summarize the challenges of, of fighting fire in Liberia. 
what are be some of the things that you would like to see the government implement, let's say in the next 30, 60, 90 days? What, they, what is it that they can do, given into consideration that they have limited resources to do? So what are some of the practical things that they can do with a minimal amount of costs? Okay, uh, so uh, what I want to say to that, is, yes, I can hear you. So what I can say to that is, um, I think the solution is awareness. That's the first thing. We, ha we have to educate our people about fire. Fire is not just getting a bucket of water, sprinkling it on, no. Or sand, I see people using sand and all of that. And I want to also encourage the government to maybe I don't know. Uh, each each household should have a fire extinguisher for a start, and it should be mandatory, because in Western Western countries, each each household has a fire a fire extinguisher, because if something happens, you should be the first to try to escape. All right. So apparently, we have. So I was going to ask you if you got a water yeah, from a borehole or from a well. Where does he get his water from? Yeah, That's I want to exactly. ask him how. I want to ask him how. I mean, how's he pumping the water? I mean, how, how, so anyway, we we just lost him. Uh, you can hear the grounding sound in the back. Maybe that's his internet. So we hope to have him back again, that we can have this one up for discussion. But it's important, though, that what Richie said. Yeah, to ask a question. I wanted to know how is he getting water that the fire truck are unable to get water. Yeah, so let's hope to have him back. But it's important. It's, it's, it's very shameful that we can all sit on this show that it's take only one man be back to be going around with water in the truck. He said he got 18 of them. Without funding, it's, by the way. Without, without funding. funding. Sam Jackson, you're right. A very quiet, silent, and, you know, Liberian helping his fellow Liberian. I mean, where are we with the whole fire structure? But anyway, we hope to have him again, have him back on the show that we can have this discussion. Uh, uh, I think he's coming back on. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm seeing him in the back. All right, let me bring him back on. All right, all right, Mamika, you gotta unmute yourself. All right, now we're gonna spend maybe about two more minutes with you. So go ahead, finish up, please. Yeah, so uh, uh, sorry, uh, my phone got interrupted by a call. So um, what I was saying, in other countries, uh, each uh, household, even the vehicles that move moves around has fire extinguisher. And uh, so that's, that's something we should look at and awareness to our people because the people, uh, our people take fire to be joke and it's not joke at this point. All right, so here we are. We want to say thank you for coming, but Dualu had a quick question and Dr. Rich is in. So let's just get to them quickly. Dualu, hey, what was your question? Hey, Brother Bad, uh, first and foremost, how do you get your water? Do you have your personal well or have you dug well or where do you get the water from? So I have a borehole. And every month I pay uh, my my fees to water and sewer. So you're not owing Moali. I'm not owing Moali. Moali, Moali, no me personally. Moali, no me personally. You know he can't bring that to me. <laughs> All right, Dr. Richardson, you have something to say? I just want him to clarify for us what for those of us who don't know what a boho is. Can you just tell us? So a uh, boho is more like of a uh, of a where, like, but it's not like you you're digging it. It's just something like you have machines that. We drill into the into the ground, far below the ground, and extract water. Okay, so you don't have to pay a bill to Moali, right? No, I'm paying bill to Moali. For what? For water. Oh, oh, okay. Because it's, uh, because it's commercial purposes. Oh, okay. Because of the property, makes... even though the water is a river under the ground, Dr. Francine, you can yeah. take it, but because it's also it's on a property, on government property, you have to pay a fee. I see. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, uh, that Thank water, I see what you're paying it to, then I'm more early. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yes. Okay. So, so, so Mr. Bar, 
Mr. Ba, I think we got to let you go because another fire situation in New Georgia Estate. Uh, another fire situation currently going on in New Georgia Estate, Gunnersville. Sorry, the house is currently on fire. Uh, I just wow. sent it to the guys and I hope they can bring it live. As we're speaking, uh, our house, and this is a big fire though. It's currently on fire. So thank you very much. I know they will be calling you to send your guys there. So we wish you, please be safe and thank you for your contribution. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah bro, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, man. Turn to Mr. Barr. Okay. But you're not there again. I didn't see you wanting to talk to him. I'm sorry. But you can say maybe he will hear you. You want to say what you want to say? I just want to say thanks to him and um, for doing a great job. There are very few young people who would take upon themselves to do something like that for free. In Liberia and around the world, everybody commercialize everything. Most people don't know that it pays to give up free services at times towards your people. So I just want to say thank you to him and you should continue the good work. And also the government should see reason and not to even charge him because if he has been doing it for since um, 2017, giving all free services, I don't think they should charge him, they should give him some level of uh, um, dispensation because he's always there for the people, you know. That's what I wanted to say. And thank you, Mr. Barr. It's, it's so great. It's, we really want to be grateful to him. I hope we can. It's so funny, like, indeed, that uh, while he's speaking, they are calling him again another fire situation in New Georgia Estate in Gunnersville area. I mean, it's concerning, folks. But let's get to the conversation for today, since we don't have, um, how you call him, Javon Smith. He will be here tomorrow. A lot of stuff happening in the country. The retreat that was called on by the lawmakers, the senators, have been, uh, uh, you know, postponed or they would not, they have rescheduled themselves not to attend the meeting. That retreat, they will try to find a solution amongst themselves. Um, we can also announce that folks are saying they, um, President George Manor, we are asset declaration. Uh, uh, Spoon have the full document, 12 pages of President George, the former President George Manawea Asset Declaration. It's not only President George Manawea, it's a lot of them. But we're going to start with the former president. So we want to share with our folks today. Uh, it's very interesting, folks. I really want us to be sincere. What is in it? It's so interesting. Before I even show it, let me share with us here on the on the show uh, for us to see what's happening. People want to know what is in it. Uh, James, can you share it? If you can hear me, James, can you put it in the chat room? All right. So, all right. So it's in the chat room, folks. The entire twelve pages. It's twelve pages uh, of the president asset declaration. Uh, I don't know why as if I go. I want to hear me here as well. Uh, Why well, you take a few seconds to go through it? Welcome to the show, Honorable Four Day. It's good to have you. Thank you again. Why, why the guys taking a few seconds to go through it? I will try to send it to you too. People will make it publish. Uh, yeah. uh, can we mute folks? Yeah, I said thank you again. Thank you for the You're welcome, Representative Four Day. Uh, uh, Dama, can you help us with the noise in the studio? So let's go ahead. I think you are. Is just take take a quick glance at it. And, you know, um, let me send it to Honorable Forty to be fair on the show, saying he's here with us. Let me send it to him. Yo, 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 what's up, now, who's that again? Who's saying yo yo yo? That Dwalu was saying that one. We can hear his voice. All right, so folks, let me put the first one up. This is the first copy as it's uh, on today online. Uh, I want us to go through it one at a time. If you want to speak through on this document, fine. This is the actual document from uh, that was declared 2018 by President George Manawea when he declared his asset. As you can see, it's all there. 
we will share on our page. If you want to take a picture, take a picture. Uh, we get one for all of them. Uh, again, this is a credible news network. What we do here is that uh, we look for information. When you have it, we protect our sources. Well, as you can see, I'm going to read it because the guys are busy going through it. It's name, soft name, we are. Uh, last name. Uh, sorry, first and middle name, Josh Manning, date of birth 10, which is October 1st, 1966. Uh, these are information about his biographic. And you go ahead, his address, Rehab Road, Pennsylvania, Foreign Ministry. Then it was his office, uh, Capitol Hill, Liberia. His email address, manning1 at hotmail.com. Uh, his cell phone number is there, as you can see. Name of the employer, government of Liberia. Uh, date, of, date to present, January 22nd, 2018, elected. As you can see, there's one uh, president elected. This is the first page. So it is stamped by LCC. I know we're going to get into the politics of this, but I just want you guys to see the stamp, the signature, uh, schedule eight income, access and liability declaration form with the president, the former president picture. We have to be transparent, folks. We have to discuss issue as of importance. We're going to go to the next page. I want us to run through all of them. Then we'll have the time to discuss it. Where, where, you, where you are with this conversation, you will tell the library people. So on this form, if you go to the next page, you're going to see what they have. Immediate last appointment, senator. You imagine he was a senator before he ran to become president. Name of his last employer, government of Liberia, GOL, uh, from January 2015 to January 2018, when he took over. Uh, his gross salary per annual is there. The detail of income and assets specific currency. Again, a stamp. ADV unit, Liberia Corruption Commission, Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission at the CC, August 15, 2018. As you can see, gross salary per annual is there. Allowance per annual, you can find that. US 180,000, source and amount of order income per year, rental income. You see that it's right there. Profit from construction business. I don't know that you're aware I have construction business, but it's there. US 150,000, he make a profit from a construction business. Rental income, Joe, where is renting somewhat, some of his property, 60,000 at a time. Cash on hand, 400. U.S. dollars, 400,000, 400,000 U.S. dollars cash on hand. So if you zoom in, you will see all this stuff is there. We are not making up the story. Uh, you can go ahead and say the bank, UBA. All right. Cash in the bank of financial institution outside of Liberia, Jawaha, outside account Wells Fargo, and Chase Bank. People call it Chase Manhattan, people call it Chase Bank, whatever you could find out. But George Wright put the address, Wells Fargo and Chase Bank. All right. Uh, Joe, we have some investment in financial institution, investment retire from professional football. Joe, we have invested 900,000. All right. That's what he said 900,000. Initial investment retire from professional football. 900,000. These are all declared. So this is page number two. Let's go to page number three. Understand it's 12 pages. We want to take our time and it's fair for us to do this to all our political leaders. Uh, once given the time, we will. Uh, page number three, real estate. If you go through this, you can call, say Messalinian washes Joe, we have for his watches, Rolex, Katia, how you call that one, Dr. Richardson, you can buy $7 million. Joe, we are getting jewelry alone, watches, $7 million. Well, you can believe that it's up to you with this call, see? A trophy, $20 million. His trophy. Luxury shoes and clothing, $3 million. 
at the time 2018. Okay, at the time 2018 is there. Take a look. The Rolex, the everything, the watches, the gold, the diamond, everything, seven million. His trophies, 20 million. Luxury shoes and clothing at the time, three million. You can find out in session G. Amount of loan, Joey, I get no loan is zero. He owe nobody as per this document. He got no loan. All right, so we're gonna go to four. Due to of sports or sports is Clark Donkey Weir. So Joe, we have put the former first lady named the Clark Donkey Weir, Rehab Row, Morovia, and type of business if self employed restaurant. So as you can see, Joe Weir is saying that Madam First Lady, former first lady, own a restaurant. It's right there. Name and ages of children at the time 2018. Timothy, we are 18. Mato, Tita, we are 32. George, M, we are junior, 30. 2018, Joe, we are declared that he got three children on his asset declaration. It's not for my business to ask questions, but we can get into it. Name and ages of children, three. Timothy, we are 18. Martha, Tita, we are 32. And George M, we are junior, 30. Okay, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to number five. Page number five. It's important, uh, page number five, talk about the banking details, they account. Account title checking, checking, checking. Asset and also library account, as you can see, really nothing too much. Very, very, very discreet on this one. Talk about the vehicles, state how each asset value at over 5,000. All right. Some of it, Joe, we have say C attached. Uh, and you're going to come here to say Schedule B. We explain more on the salary and everything. I'm going to start to the last page, number six. And then we'll do the last six pages later. So page number six is right here. As you can see, which is so important right now. You see the LDCC right there, the STEM, rental property, 60,000, profit, dividend, interest, royalties, 150,000, total annual income, 398,425 at a time, cash on hand, 400,000, Echo Bank, a free land, the rest of AC attached, Auto Bank in America, West Fargo, Chase Manhattan Bank, security stock, bond, T-bill, something Sam Jackson know more about from Chase Bank is 900,000. Folks, with the first six pages, we're gonna pause, and we're gonna have this conversation with the first six pages, let's talk. Where are you? I'm gonna start with Dr. Richardson. Then we'll go more into the properties and other things, Josh, when we are on. So, Dr. Richardson, your take. Well, um, just looking at what I'm seeing in front of me, a couple of things really surprised me. Uh, I was surprised that he has a construction company. I would like to know the name of that construction company. And I also like to know if that construction company did any business with Liberia at the time he was president, because I, you know, that's a little bit of a conflict of interest for me. Um, I was also surprised that why would anybody in the world need watches at the tune of seven million dollars? But again, I don't have the money that Georgia has. I, you know, so my, my, you know, my humble self. Uh, I'm very pleased with what I have. Uh, I saw he does, uh, he likes his shoes and uh, clothes, which said, what, 300,000 in those. Um, interesting. I found that interesting. One of the I things. Think it was that, 3 million, though, not 300,000, 3 million. Oh my God, I wrote down. Uh, that's how I, okay. I, I'm sorry, I underestimated the clothes and uh, the shoes, 3 million. Um, so we had a celebrity as a president because that's what they tend to invest in their clothes and their shoes. I was surprised that he had property in other countries. 
I saw Ghana and Aricos, he had apartments. So that's a problem. We're not, we're not there yet. We're into the property okay. side yet. Okay. All right. I'll stop. Page I don't just want to run straight into that thing, right? Okay. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay. That's, that's so thank you. Okay. So let me mix this thing up. Let me get to Duarte, then we'll come to Andrew Mama. We go to Sam Jackson, Glenny. Uh, we'll keep the honorable man for last and we'll bring in Isaac Vatoba so we can have Isaac do on. Mr. Dwalu, George, my friend. You know, you know, one thing I'm very and I want to buy my tongue. But some of y'all look at like everyone, you're lot of them with both face lights. Both face lights. First of all, no trophy cost $20 million. That's the first thing. Okay. And sometimes when people steal money, what they tend to do is they buy these juries and they try to funnel the money to the jury. Look, this is easy to verifiable. If you have four hundred thousand dollars in the Liberian bank, how did the money get in there? It's traceable. That's the first mistake he's made. If he claim to own all these juries, there are receipts when you bought this jury. It's very easy to verifiable. Yes, a man I could bet and pay two hundred dollars a month for child support and get that kind of blended money. And that's another thing I want to tell you. No senator in the Republic of Liberia has declared more than $123,000 that they make a year. President, we always declare $180,000. But blame one that you're not playing from. Look, the other guy, like, you're a lot of them, you're playing for a lot of people, but I'm blaming us. I'm blaming President, we are blaming us. I gave about the you, and I think I can't even be fair because there's a lot of men talking. Thank you very much, Dwalu. Let me go to Andrew Mama now. Andrew Mama? Hmm. Looking at this, um, looking at this, this this thing is not real. This thing is, um, do we all know that? Well, first of all, he declared this asset win. I, I don't see the date here. What is it? It was date? August 2018. Wait, it's wait, the, July 20th, I think. It was received and stamped by LACC August 2018. Mm -hmm. August 15, 2018. Is there? Well, if he did this in 2018, then. Um, so, what about it is not real? Is the document fake or Joe is not telling the truth? What are you saying, man? No, because if he came to, to power in what, 20, 20, 2018, January, right? 2018 January, and I see all of these things here because um when 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 before he took over as president, um the president was he he, he didn't have he didn't have uh, money like that he didn't have money like that because I remember we were in the party and everything was resting on us Kalano uh what the guy named um. So, Andrew, I'm sorry to ask you again. Folks are asking because you say this thing is not real. I want you to correct your statement. Is the document not real or Joe, we are lied to the people? Which one? The document was prepared, so it's there. But what I'm saying is that it, the, 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 the amounts on this document is not, it's not, it's not real because okay. he only didn't have money at the time when he took over as president. I'm trying to lay the basis that when we were in the party, the burden of most of the things that happened that rested on me. It was on me, uh, Kalano and, and Gu and other goodwill people who came in to help us. There was no money. He didn't have the money. At that time, we were going through troubling times. And for money to write that kind of thing, that's not true. This document is not correct. It's not real. That's all I can tell you. Thank you very much, Andrew Mama. Uncle Sam? Yeah, well, thank you very much. Uh, I think this will finally lay to rest all of the speculation, innuendos, hallucinations, Tabata, Onchoya, asset declaration. Clearly, this is, this is a wealthy man. It was a wealthy man who was sent to the presidency. Now, uh, I'm I know the uh, naysayers, the nattering nabobs of negativity are shame now. You shame. First, you said he he didn't declare his asset to the LACC. The LACC's 10 is there. Look, I'm not here to back people who engage in transgressions, but we cannot use this platform to excoriate, to denigrate people based upon our opinions. You are entitled to your own opinion, but not your own facts. 
here is a man that is valuing his Ballon d'Or at twenty million dollars, and you say it's that value. This is this is this is according to the best of his knowledge and ability. This is what he believes is worth. That's what asset declaration do. John Via is not a an, an evaluator. Property values in Liberia, they don't have any functional way of determining what the resale value of a, of a property in Liberia is. Those are all guest estimates and to the best of his knowledge. So for you to come and say he was poor, he didn't have any money, but the other man that show you that he came to he came to power as a wealthy man. Yeah, now, if you not not you because you don't have any authority to do any investigation, but if the asset recovery people have the forensic auditors, they have the ability not to engage in in in, in a, 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 a a mindless speculation. Okay, but this is clearly an effort by the Unity Party people to deflect, you know, attention away from the failures of the last 60 days. You are not really gaining any traction with the public. You're losing popularity. You're getting, you're losing goodwill. So job we are now is the frontal issue. To me, the job we are is no longer president. Let's see the asset declaration of the, of the man who's sitting in a chair and let us cut that, but Joya is gone. It's finished. It's, it's, it's in the rear view mirror. So you can come and speculate all day. You don't believe that. You don't believe this. But they say my lie, they say my witness is in America. There is Joya's asset declaration. There is a sign by LACC, and it shows that he was a man of means. So the only way that you can contradict that, and I don't believe any one of us on this podium okay, is cloaked with that authority, only a forensic investigator will be able to make a determination as to whether these assets as listed by George Weir are fraud. You don't have the authority. Sorry. Thank you. You can't. You uh, listen, let's let's listen. Walk out. Thank you. The, 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 the uh, rescue train. The Thank you. We got to go so to the next six, uh, uh, last six, six pages. pages. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jackson. Uh, again, as I said, I will keep uh, the Honorable Man representative from Love for Last on this. Let me bring in Abba, then we'll go to Ado. Abba before Ado. There's the, there's the B Mountain Advocate here. <laughs> Congratulations, my man. I'd like to see somebody who take a stand. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It, my man, that, that document there, that Fugazi, man, that thing fake. Whether it fake in terms of where it come from, it come from Neg or somewhere, or whether the, that the content itself. But for Samuel Jackson to be sitting down here and be making this kind of justification, the thing is not see a thing. Yes. Sam Jackson, man. Sometimes you got to get yourself some level of credit. Go Don't vomit. wipe your face. Go Don't vomit. wipe the scene from your face. Go vomit. Go vomit. Go no, but that, that only says something. As a, as a man, as a, that only says something. Before you attack Sam no, Jackson. No, no, I'll so go Sam way now. That's, I'll go that's not in the attack. That is not in the attack. No, no, I'll go Sam way. 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 Abba, please, refrain from calling another panelist's name. Let's have a good show, please. He said what he had to say. You say what you have to say. Sometimes I know we are playing, but with this magnitude, let's just be serious. It's very, very tense when you talk about George Bernard, we are as a declaration. So please, Abba, make your case tonight without calling anyone in, please. I want to even call the person who put the paper up name because I even think they just said, look at the paper when it was put up. That's the problem. And say, oh, you want to say my Ballon d'Or $20 million? <laughs> you will not say that. Look, we got to be serious here. I, I think we're wasting the people's time with that kind of stuff. The only place where I agree is the evaluation process in Liberia does not exist. I think the highest that was paid for a Ballon d'Or was probably 187,000 pounds. I think that these Stefanos. So if we look at it, we say, you know, Joey had a bigger player than the man, Joey had a greater player. Maybe we can get to do double that set, 360.
thousand pounds, staying with five hundred thousand dollars. So <coughs> they're saying twenty million dollars. Yeah, that's that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't it, it it doesn't do anything for us seriously. So okay, thank you. I dismiss Thank you. All right. so, yeah, so I think it is important to be discussed, and that's why we are discussing it. And uh, the where, where, where this document came from, we can also assure the public that we have other folks in government, their asset declaration. Uh, this is what is happening in the country today. Like I went back and forth having some serious argument with some people. People are disenchanted. Folks are talking. I want to encourage everyone from every entity, when you see something, say something. And the question that Ogusem asked, but what about Jose Yiman Barca asset declaration? Folks, it is available, but the president would make it and he would give it to the public. People are saying, well, why can't you show it? No. President Jose Yuma Barker have promised to declare his asset he did. And he said he will share with the public and he will. It took six, seven years for George Banner. We had to make these things available. Moving from G GSC to LDCC. People that have verified these documents are people that work, former LDCC folks, current LDCC folks, they have work with the entity and they have verified this document. If George Manor, we had took his Ballon d'Or from $1 to $300 million, it's up to George Manor, we are. And we'll continue, we'll continue, we'll do this continuously because like Claire Martin said, some people devalue their asset and some people also increase their asset. Reason being, it's up to them, but we have to share this with the Labyrinth people. I'm gonna bring in Glenny, and I'm going to show the Labyrinth people. We'll be talking about Simon Toy asset declaration. That is so bad. We'll be talking about other people asset declaration, current government official that just declared the assets, but it show only nothing, and they just give the announcement. We have the declaration as well. We declare it, and we challenge them to prove us wrong. So if anybody's saying, well, this one was made up, then go to LDCC or ask the people that publish the asset. I was able to speak to one individual today, a lawmaker, and say, is this your asset declaration? They say, how you got it? I said, because you refused to publish it like Musa Ability did. Musa Ability said, yeah, all my document. He didn't say, go, and go to court for it, no. We laugh at Musa Ability, you're $32 million richer. So how can you say you won't be transparent? You publish your asset, but then you want us to fight to get it. So we have to fight together with, we'll, we'll bring it on Spoon Talk and discuss it. And then you can go hold some other people responsible. Glenny, your take on this issue, ma'am. So um, just a couple of things. Um, President Wea was um, inaugurated January 22nd, 2018. Asset was declared and received August 15, 2018. That's almost six months later. Um, it will be interesting to compare his previous assets declared in 2014 to the 2018 to see where the wealth is. I also just went and Google how much is the cost of a bottom door or whatever it's called. It's three thousand dollars pound, three thousand pounds to two hundred two thousand nine hundred twenty dollars U.S. dollars. That depends on what it is. So for that price. It's a bit alarming to see that price. Also, suffice it to say, President, we had all that money, even the money in his shoes. Seven million. Seven million dollars in shoes. And he could not face his nine street apartment until he became president. He could not face his houses. We're just selling his shoes. And he think Liberian people are stupid people. We understand that we may not have the facts on these numbers, but there's nobody on this platform here who would say something about we are asset that I would believe, with the exception of, of Isaac Kupa and, and Jemama Wolokoli, because they were there. They know they were there from the onset. You even see the pin that our own president, we are house, before he became president, a fence. And this man had $7 million worth of shoes 
and a Rolex but, watch. Why is it in the middle? I'm not seeing the in the middle in this. Uh, we don't even see in the middle. We see that you have four hundred thousand cash. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like really? Yeah. And our tire shop he used to drink to. Y'all don't waste people's time. But I see. Okay, we'll bring in. I say. I say you're going again. I say you're going again. Mm -hmm. So let me it's, bring in. Let me bring in honorable forty. Representative forty. Yes, I uh, see you. I think I saw Brian listen to some of the speakers. Uh, the first thing is that the essence of transparency is to always ensure that you be the first to report a story. Uh, and I see no reason why when the assets was been declared before LACC, it was not published because it brings to bear a lot of criticism. It brings to question, it brings the, the reality out and people try to question some of the figures in the asset that you uh, declare. So I, I would expect some of the kind of criticism we're hearing because uh, some of the figures are questionable and we need to do a lot of assessment around it. Like um, and uh, Gladys said, she tried Googling the figure in terms of value of uh, uh, the balance the board. It's not more than 3,000. And we expect uh, anyone who win the balance the board, um, as a player, your value would increase as a player. Many teams coming after you to buy you, you get that value or not uh, be placed in the in the worth of the trophy you have not put that trophy out for option to understand the worth so it means a lot for an individual to be able to come up with a giving the amount when that um, material has not been placed out for option so i think um the document then genuine we all need to strengthenize the what was presented and uh, raise the issues that we believe should have been raised for the past few years because if uh, the president was going to expose this, we will not be sitting here discussing having much juries and other material worth in, in the terms of medium. So everyone wants to question us. So is this the kind of person we are giving our country to? Uh, is, uh, are we giving our country to a man who spent millions of dollars only on luxury goods? How will he treat our country? A lot of questions were have been raised. So I think um, it is not always late to raise the real issue. And the fact that there's a tax force set up, they're going to look into some of the wealth and see whether it is something genuine, whether there's more reason to go after some of the uh, questionable uh, assets than acquire to his tenure. It means a lot. And I can say for free that the, the direction this country is going into, there's nothing that will remain a secret. It is all. About Correct, you are right, honorable man. The, the, the issue is that, again, we always love to have you. And on point, though, Josh Banaway and his team should come and debunk this document, whether it is true or whether it is false. But again, knowing what we know and what we receive, and our sources that share it, this document is 100% legit. And that's the problem right there uh, for, for them to increase the numbers. When we start getting to the property and start showing it, people will realize that Joe, we are increasing all of his property. Yet and still, you add him up, it's not coming to that 80 million dollars. Folks, we have to rotate, so we have to uh, remove Asifai and, and Uncle Sam because we're bringing in our Hussein Fadika and Mame. Mr. Asidu, can you speak? Well, and I hope I will enjoy my two minutes. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Let me quote Mr. Clamanti, the asset recovery head. He said, up to the time I left LACC, documents did not show that person we had declared asset. Spoon, they show, spend years upon time, upon days, saying person we had in the Today, the same very spoon, rescue family, the same spoon coming again with a certain word trade document and say, President, we are declared asset. Spoon, which one do we believe? Can anybody on the show deny that based on your document that I know it is not right, but your document that Clamantin, who is the head of asset recovery, lied based on your document? Can anybody dispute that? 
Which do we believe? The one, the spoon that said, President, we are didn't declare asset. The Clamantin that said, up to the time he left, documents at LACC said, President, we are didn't declare asset. Or the same spoon that today bringing us document with uh, LACC stamp on it. Which one do we believe? So let me go further. Nobody on this show from rescue train that has been packed to the station is ever proud for us to discuss the accomplishment of rescue mission. Are there anybody to bring the accomplishment of rescue mission in some of the one days let's discuss it? You know why? Because the prices of every commodity are all increasing. Fuel, food. Today, one guy who was passionate about the rescue posted on Facebook. He said, ah, but what is going on? A few days ago, 2.5 gib could carry you for seven days. Now, they boil down to two days. Rescue, we don't want to discuss about it. Fire outbreaks all around the place, like we just discussed. There is no single policy from rescue with all the big moves they make during the campaign to show us how they will solve the problem. Police killing people here in Nigeria. Evidence of it. Protests are becoming normal. Right there from the executive mansion. Protests were there. Several, several salaries. Delay. And let me remind you one reason why they voted for you. Because you said you will increase several, several salary. No discussion about that. Businesses are facing tough times in Liberia. The Liberia Electricity Corporation is at its worst. The exchange rate is ballowing every day. Lawsuits against the government is every day here and there. Today, the government appoints somebody. Tomorrow, they withdraw the person. The after tomorrow, they recall. The following day, they send. I mean, making the talk government to look so small. Don't interrupt him, Fadiga. Don't interrupt him. The man get his time, let him speak, please. Go ahead, Isaac. Please, I'm my time. my two minutes. The government has seven day plans deliverable. Today, I posted. The okay, so I said we have an internet problem. Guys, please, we shouldn't interrupt. Let's let everybody, this is very tense because you know we are discussing George Fonda, we are asset recovery. So, uh, you know, the other people will be very tense. I know we tried to laugh, but let's just be serious for a second. Uh, uh, Fadiga, you're going to come in and mommy, and then we'll read the last portion. Also in our possession, again, we'll do one formal and one current. Well, I think Mo Ali declared his asset. If not, I will make it public tonight. We have the copy of Mo Ali asset declaration. I uh, we should force our lawmakers, force our folks that are representing us in government when they declare the asset, they should make it public. We shouldn't run behind them. So again, I've asked Mo Ali. I'm going to give him a few seconds. I hope he sent it to me. If not, I will make it public. I have it. It's not fake. These things are not a fake document. These things are legitimate document, and we hope they can question it. We hope they can come and challenge us because Liberians are tired. These guys then lie on the asset declaration. They increased their numbers, $20 million for a trophy. The argument they are now making in my, in my, in my inbox, Glenn, they are saying it's not one. He concluded on all the trophy, African Cup, European <laughs> Cup, no, I'm just saying to you, that's why they say trophy. <laughs> so they are saying it's not only one, it's all of them. So I think the argument is holding water. Now, I say, can you finish? You went off for a second, finish before bringing the other guys. I said, though, please. I said, though, can you finish? Yeah. Before you, you went off? Yeah, sure. Thank you. And so, uh, so let me just take the. Let me just take my last seconds for left. So as I was saying before I went off uh, CEO, uh, let me read this for you very quickly, like I posted in the chat room. 
under pillow seven of the 100 day deliverable or uh, what did rescue mission say they will do in 100 days they did say they will come and discuss georgia asset let me tell you what they say they will do under pillow seven they say objective seven education youth labor ensure the timely payment of wire fees for ninth grade and 12th grade zero they say retain and review the effectiveness and efficiency and optimize free tuition pay zero Ensure adequate educate or, or academic and logistical support to the targeted institution for the current 22,000 zero. Pay outstanding scholarship fees for local and international students and complete the construction of 25 schools that are almost near completion, zero. Creation of short-term employment for young people, zero. Set a date for the resumption of the national county meet, though this one was delayed, but we gave it to them, one. Review the Thank insurance you. of work permit zero. Submit. Thank you, Doe. Thank you, brother Doe. Again, when you come back, we'll continue for you. Are you with us, Fadiga? Fadiga, you're muted. Yes, uh, man. Uh, I have to. You're not driving, driving, right, Fadiga? You're not driving. No, I'm right? not driving. I, no, I'm no. not driving. I had to come because I heard. I heard. Uh, uh, Uncle Sam, and, and I'm very disappointed in Uncle's folks that Uncle Sam. Look, one thing a, a lot of you guys miss in 20, uh, when George Rea ran for, for the Senate, he declared his assets. I have a copy of that asset I will send it to you. Uh, sent on. This guy didn't even value uh, one million, I think it was a little over a million. It didn't even reach a million. It was a little over a million. When he declared his assets when he ran uh, uh for the senate in less than no time the election came and 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 the reason is simple look the document is authentic the information in that document is fake and the reason here is to justify the looting of the country for the last six years and this is why people put fake information in their assets george we are invited nothing george we are memorabilia check for Google George Weir memorabilia, even worth or it is worthless because he did not build his brand. George Weir made more need than money. And because he was reckless. And let's assume that the information in there was true. Had that been public, look, uh, uh, Ambassador Rufo Nuva and us, we fought tooth and nail to get a, 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 a copy. We used the Freedom of Information Act to get a copy of that uh, assets. Had the Liberian people knew that this was a flamboyant play ball, which we, we told them for the last six years, even before the election, they were going to be electing, they wouldn't have elected him. That's why he was able to purchase private jet, wearing Gucci shoes, and, and, and using the Liberian people money, I have to say, it was his personal wealth. And then Samuel to, uh, 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 Jackson want to come and lecture us here? How did he amount to, look, her, even his wife, she had a cobo shop. They have we are judge chicken, we are something. We have a copy of all we are properties in America. These are public record. You cannot fake the thing. What the thing they're taking off. Look, I, I'm so uh, 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 the, the guy in studio just says something. It's good that we have a, an access recovery team now that will be investigating these things. Honestly, if we do not set some precedent with this guy, if we do not put in place some measure, some deterrent mechanism, look. This country is doomed. Then I mean, we'll do worse than those people. We'll do three times worse than them. The Liberian people elected this president to go after those people to, to stop the looting of this country. And I think, look, the, the, the more I look at that, that, that piece of document, that piece of trash of a document, I get angry. Senator, it angers me that people will just play fun with the Liberian people. This may kill in less than no time. In less, they were so anxious to come and loot this country that in less than 90 days they were bulldozing he was building a mini city he didn't even know, it was from in the time it was in the time of the 25 million right it was yeah the time yeah, yeah. Million. Yeah. Million Manor, that are are again like like fadiga is saying we just have again a copy of his first asset declaration Look at that copy. Exactly. We're going to we're going to, we're going to share it again. Let's listen, folks. These are very genuine. These are very genuine document. 
But these guys that work on the numbers will show you the rest of the line. The line is justified the looting of the contest, and though. Yeah, I mean, hold on he, 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 he increased the network that I... Yeah. Hold on one minute. Before we before we go ahead to, to, to bring in Mame, uh, let me go ahead and, and let's talk about the last six pages. No let's share it. Thank you, Fadiga. Fadiga will bring my own. Yeah, don't hang on. I'm going to the studio. That's the only reason I'm Okay. All right, then let me meet you in the studio. Thank you, Fadiga. Thank you. All right, so let me go ahead, Mommy, before we bring you in, let me show the last six pages. It's very important. Let me be consistent. This is page number seven, seven or 12. As you see, everything there, signature whatsoever. But it's important to look at this. To look at this seven or 12. What person we are saying? Real estate property list 2.1 million others, right? Uh, what you see, residential properties, it Point one million dollars. Uh, personal property, see attached, uh, but you still have 1.3 mil. Uh, you come down to other asset trophies, luxury shoes and everything. We're gonna now go over to page number eight. Uh, page number eight, you see all the signature where you found this. Folks, uh, at George Brennan, we have blank, blank, blank. Uh, when he signed it over, July 25th, 2018, uh, received August 15th, 2018. The person named that, all this, those that signed this various stamp. We'll go to page number nine. Now it's getting interesting. We got page number nine over here is talking about the different amount. Rehab role, his property now, this is, this is appendix one, uh, rehab role, Broadway. Joe, we are rehab road resident at the time was 700,000. Uh, Broadville, vacant, lot, 10 acre, 75,000. Uh, the Miami, which is in Florida, the property, uh, that was 50,000, 550,000 for the property. New York, his property in Queens, 800,000. And you talk about total residential, 2.1 million. United States others. Commercial, uh, he talked about Jamaica. I don't know whether this is the country, Jamaica or Jamaica Resort. Uh, he, they didn't say, it, but he just said Jamaica, uh, 2.5 million. Uh, Arrow 2K, the Baptist Seminary, which is 4 million. He talked about Silver Beach. Uh, I never heard about the Silver Beach, 300,000. The Nile Street resident that Andrew Mama was talking about. The nine street resident they say it was five hundred thousand, and George, we have a Farmington resident in Farmington for eighty nine thousand. Whether it's a property or resident, or whether it's the hotel Farmington that is part of, I don't know. Labrie Sport Academy forty thousand. Uh, Andrew Mama and other folks will know about these different places in Cote d'Ivoire. George, we say he get twenty apartment, a residential apartment in Nolly Plateau. Côte d'Ivoire, which is worth 267000 at the time. So, Joe, I got property in Côte d'Ivoire. While speaking on this thing, one of Joe, we are very close confidants said it is true. He has so many property in Côte d'Ivoire. They used to go there during the wartime to go hang out. So, maybe Andrew Mama will talk to us every day. Joe, we are get a property in Ghana. If you look on this paper, as short as Lagon, house and two lots. 450,000 in Ghana, all right? So total commercial, you come up to 8.1 million United States dollars and total real estate property, 10.2 million. That is uh, page number nine. We're gonna go to page number 10. Page number 10 says, uh, personal, we are cash on hand. Cash on hand was 400,000. Bank account, which is Echo Bank, the account number is there, as you can see. Uh, Echo Bank Ghana. So, President, where I get Echo Bank Liberia account and Echo Bank Ghana account. So, everything is there. You know, he had to display the West Fargo Bank in Pembroke's Pond, Florida. The account is there, West Fargo. He had only 7000 that account. Uh, total cash, including investment, the investment was 900000 As you can see, it's on page number nine. 10. Now we go to page number 11. 
uh, page number 11 very clearly states uh, all his vehicles, Toyota, GMC, Toyota Land Cruiser, the Hammer, the Toyota Land Cruiser, 2016, Chairman Black, Toyota Land Cruiser, 2015, Fiat Pickup, 2016, Toyota Land Cruiser, Prado, 2015, Toyota Sequoia, 2015, and all the vehicles, everything, Joe, we have valued them to be 1.3 million. You can find that on page number 11. The last page, as you can see, it was signed. It was well signed. Everybody can see those different signatures. Those that receive it, uh, received from President George M. Weir, uh, the date, the time, the position of the person receiving it, the cell phone number, everything, the different, different attest signature. Here we are, folks. This is George Manning. We are. If we have time, we'll talk a little about Mo Ali and his declaration. We'll make it public. If not, we'll continue with this declar asset declaration. If you declare your asset, folks, the Labyrinth people want to know what is in it. So don't declare and hide it. If you declare and hide it, then you hide it something. My brother, Bapalu boy, mommy, talk to us, sir. I mean, I listen to. I read the asset declaration. <laughs> like everybody here was laughing with the figures that we are had there. I was just, I was amazed at how people can can justify these things. We saw George Weir. And if anybody, all the people listening can just go to the French government to Radio France International, did a report on George Weir's assets. I will share the link to that report. It documented how George Weir sold almost all his real estates in the US. The one in Staten Island was sold in 2005. There was another one in Devi sold in 2011. Another one in the plantation era sold 11 years after it was bought, New York, the list goes on. Radio France International. He sold those assets because of all the reasons we know that he was running out of cash. So he needed money. He sold those assets. Go to his 2014-2013 asset declaration and see the difference. We saw George We are in Liberia lived on NASCAR, Von Bamos, and Noka. They pay him, they gave him money. George Weah was surviving on NASCAR and Noka. That's fact. The part of the reason why he refused to do any forensic audit of Noka, because everything will point back right to him, or most of what happened will point back right to him. We saw that. But for heaven's sake, the poor man, leading group of poor people, will be bragging of having over and over five or seven hundred million dollar issues. When seditions are your party headquarters, don't have place to sleep, don't have food to eat, and you're bragging of having millions of dollars worth of shoes. What's claiming over we are? What he lied about in his asset declaration is not unusual. Sometimes I will find the video and share it with you. Joe, we are lied publicly that he has a farm in Sino County. And the farm is producing and feeding the people of Sino. He was responding to a question from John Colley in an interview when he was talking about agriculture. Mm -hmm. John Colley asked him, do you yourself have a farm as a president? He said, yes, I have a farm in Sino. Bowie gave me a farm. The farm is producing and the people of Sino are using the farm to feed themselves. Go to Sano County. We are doesn't have farm there. Absolutely no farm. 
for the six years you were in government, nobody saw a Benesi coming from that farm, a cup of rice or cassava coming from that farm. But he publicly on national radio said he has a farm in Sino and the people of Sino are using the farm to feed themselves. If you can be that bold to lie publicly on national radio, what more about going in the corner and writing your knee and number on people and send it to asset declaration place and bury it for six years? It's not strange that he lied. I know people are fighting day and night to show that Councillor Martin, who is leading the effort on asset recovery, doesn't have credibility. And they want to use this George Weah thing to prove that. But this man built his credibility for more than 30 years in Liberia. You can't undo it on a radio show. It's not possible. Please go to the MOU between the GAC and the LACC. Councillor Martin was right. He said he did not see any asset declaration form. He's right. And people here were arguing that George had declared an asset to GAC and even provided the law that justify why he declared his asset to GAC. Even if it was declared at LACC because he was president, people hate it. The document was hating. That's the reason why probably Councillor Martin did not find it. So you can't use that to go after him. He was right. He did not see it. Until now that we've seen it, he is right. But we are lying on asset declaration form. It's not strange. He lied publicly that he has a farm in Sano that the people of Sano are using to feed themselves. And up to today, we cannot see that farm. It's not even listed in the asset that he declared to further prove that he lied. Thank you very much, my mate. Let, let's do this real quick. Uh, I will give you guys 30 seconds. Again, I will bring back Dualu. If you want to close on this conversation, I want to show uh, uh, Mo Ali asset declaration. We can do some comparison. But my question, why are you closing? You can please incorporate. Why will you declare your asset and you had it? Why are people doing that? Why long? Why, why, why leaders in the country are doing that? Let me ask the leader, one of the leaders here on the show tonight. Why you declare your asset representative formula and your hiding? Well, what benefit it is to the people? The first thing is that uh, see you. I didn't have my asset. I declared. No, I'm asset. saying you now. I'm saying generally people that do. Yeah, I want to speak first for myself. I declare my right. asset and publish it, and I call on other government officials to do same. Because when you go about doing such a thing, you try to create more trust in your governance process in your independence as to what you bring into government so i will not support any government official who will declare that asset what the essence of declaring as in hiding it there's no reason it is is more genuine to declare it and publish it to allow the public to have a fair analysis of what you come into government with so i see no reason why people will even come here to provide any defense. What we should be arguing now is to ask ourselves whether or not the property listed in that asset declaration form are genuine, whether the president, the former president had those property. Um, uh, some of the property has been listed and we need to understand from the LDC as to whether or not they were able to do some verification in terms of those assets that were listed within our country. So. I see no reason why anyone who want to defend any government official who declared an asset and failed to publish it. The public need to know you are a public official and you need to be very open. Thank you very much, Representative Fumbler. Dr. Richardson. Well, we, I will come to you, Brother Asito. I, I beg you, we'll come to you guys. I got to bring in Duado too. But Dr. Richardson, why will you? Don't declare your asset, Dr. Richardson. If you go to Harley, don't declare it. Well, it's important that uh, asset declarations are made public because our country has a long history of corruption. One of our previous presidents described corruption as a cancer within the society. So to fight corruption, we have to be honest with the people. We have to tell them 
uh, you know, this is what I have. When I come to government, I'm not going to steal, you know, uh, what what I have to manage for the Liberian people. That is the beginning of communicating with the people. So we see that, you know, uh, person, we are, I don't know this, whether it's fake or real, uh, there's some antisocial tendencies that I'm observing. You know, the, the tendency to kind of want to intentionally evade the law for your own benefit, okay? And it seems to be a repeated pattern. We started, somebody mentioned his 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 his, uh, 20, his, his senatorial uh, bid, how he, he, he inflated some of the numbers there as well. I see in the court system, he was asked to pay a child support. He said that he only made $1,000 or so a month, okay? So when you start to evade the, the court system, the legal system, in another country, and in whatever your own country, the people who are not even capable of maybe understanding some of the uh, uh, legal language, okay, but even to understand some of our democratic process. So it, it just it, it rubs me the wrong way that we have a leader who will engage in such practices, and uh, I don't think he's off the hook. I, if I was him, I'd be careful because to me, uh, people can come back. The court system that he lied to can come back and compare documents. So let me, one of the question, one of the question here at Jibama, when we look at uh, page 11 or so, though maybe page 10, and they're talking about the properties, and he lays a uh, Baptist seminar. Is that where he have the 18 condominiums or 48 condominiums? Are, are, are those property listed as well? Can you help me? I'm asking you directly because You've been with Joel for the long term, and you know you guys are the fund, funding members of CDC. Yeah, but at the time, at the time when we established um, CDC in two thousand and four, he didn't have two properties. He he had the small house in Ria, and then later on, years after, he built the nine street property, and that was the two property that we knew that George Rian had. Now, right after he took over as president when he got elected, he built the 47 buildings. They are not even apartment, they are buildings, apartment buildings. He built 47 of them. And then um, then the Jamaica property, he built it during, um, after he won. And he built a couple of buildings within Jamaica small small buildings so for me there is no need you got the reason why i you know people can come here and just talk stupid stupid talk and just slide and get glad and with the talk and i just sit here and look at them because they don't know just we are more than us we brought job we are to power we stood by him and when, when we established a party just we are said to us he didn't have money it was uh, Orisha Gu, George Calando, myself, Jay Kabakoli. We were the ones that were providing the money. The first convention in high in Grand Basel, 25,000. I provided it. The one that George, he said, he said 25,000 US, right? 25,000 US dollar. I, uh, what a guy named Bangali Ko. He was then um, the vice president for. Uh, uh, for this co they call Bangalu from Ufans Co Co Bangali. We went to George where they said they didn't have the money. And I walked in that place that night and Bangali eyes were red. I said, What's going on? He said, We don't have the money. Tomorrow is the first convention in Grand Basel. I took that money from my bag and I provided it. Not only that, so many occasions. I'm telling you about people who and other people who contributed. Uh, in the background, I didn't want to be named. They also contributed, also. But every time one the money, he said, didn't have money. I don't have money, you're doing it for your country, so you go ahead. And so we spend money on CDC. That's why I want to deal with CDC. I deal with CDC decisively. I know what I'm talking about. Now you got people who just come in a few days and great opportunists. They are not about opportunists looking for. Good name, they're looking for a continuation of whatever they have reaped over the years. They just can and just talk all kinds of things and I just sit and look at them. Because you know what? I respect them. So I, I just let them talk. 
So God will not have these properties. He even, I, 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 I beg you, even the back, even the one uh you say he never had the one he said four. He never million. had the, four, the seven units that he built, he just built it. He just built it when he became president. He just built the properties. So you can't come here and talk about Josh Weir. We know Josh Weir. And we cannot go in details about everything that we know. So when people come and sit down and talk thing here, every day people come and they preach. They want to say they lecturing or they can lecture us. Thank you. Don't know Josh Weir. They don't know what we went through to establish CDC, how much money we spent on CDC. Thank you, on CDC, Jacob Akoli spent more money. Kalano spent money. Thank you, Andrew Mama. Let me let me bring in. Just talk. Don't just Thank talk. Thank you, Andrew Mama. You're standing up. Let me respond, please. Let me respond, please. Uncle Sam, I'm coming to you. Hold on one minute, please. I'm coming to you. So it will be. When you stand on top of me, I would ask you. Andrew Mama, that's okay. We're bringing Sam Jackson. We're going to bring Mr. Duaru, as if I took back, as it do, and we'll go to uh, Glenny, uh, assist Glenny to come on. So, Mr. Jackson, that's the rotation. Then, uh, Mommy will take us home on this. We got other conversation to, to discuss. Go ahead, Mr. Jackson. First of all, first of all, first of all, anybody with an innuendo that Sam Jackson don't have anything, you can go look at the real estate records from 1976. The houses have been only in America. You can go to that. You can go to my social security contributions for 1974. You go to my earning in 1974, how much money I made? You know, I go to my bonus in 1985. Let me finish. I'm not talking to you. I beg you. I'm not talking to you. Oh, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. So me. I'm not here to watch nobody, you know what, for anything. Those of you who participated in what you are calling a fraud today, in 2005 when Joe Weah said he was worth another $3 million, and he put it into the asset declaration form or the ADC, you did nothing. You did nothing. You were part of that fraud if it's a fraud. And then in 2014 when he ran, when he made an asset declaration, are you, are you accusing? Uh, are you accusing Angie Mama that she was part of it because she supported him? No, no, I'm saying whoever was around George Weir, but she was around George Weir. Are you accusing her that supported him? Listen, I'm not calling her by the name. I don't, I don't do personal attacks. I'm saying to you, in 2005, the website was one three million dollars. In 2014, he made his asset declaration. And in 2017 or 2018, he made asset declaration. There are people that are talking today that did not uh, resist or try to counter the asset declaration. You been telling us on the people been telling us the thing here, Club Martin, that Javier did not declare the asset in 2018. He did. LEC's step is there. If you are saying that the figures are, are fraudulent, you disagree with them, you are in no position to make that determination. Only Clamartin, only Clamartin can bring in the forensic auditors, they can bring investigation you don't know to say this is false. You are in no finish. position, Sam Jackson, to talk about Because you don't know. Well, George, you are told you so didn't have money. George, you are told you are broke. Let me finish. George, you are told you are broke. So why are you coming on the same thing right now? Let me finish. I'm thinking my sister. I love you all of this world. Well, but, 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 Angie, Mama, 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 please. Let Mr. Jackson finish, please. So, 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 y'all who participated in this fraud that y'all claim is a fraud today. Who is fraud? When the man is in 2005. So, okay, you might so, give me two minutes, so if you participated but... in this fraud, if you participated in this fraud, the way you call him fraud today, you don't have the moral authority, the moral compass, the technical authority to go ahead and try to say this document 
presentation that was presented to the LACC by the Are you got a more compact? You know, but I'm going to answer the mama. You're going to answer the mama. Let me finish. 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 Let me Right? And nobody investigated that. In 2014, they have five years or, or, or whatever thing. Yeah. This particular one here still got a few more months to go before the statute of limitation is over. You got our 2018 July. So you got four more months to go. So it is still within the statute of limitation. So the justice ministry, the asset recovery, they can use the authority. Nobody's stopping them. So go say, since this man, because when you when you when you when you declare your asset, you do that on a penalty of law, on a penalty of law. Oh. So you are going to take the man to court to come and discuss it on spoon. It's very good. We get fifty thousand more to listen to us, but that does not do anything for the justice system in the country. When you come here, when you participated in that fraud for the we last what, nineteen years. If you said it's a fraud, you, you participated in that fraud. You did. You we did. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Let me move on. Let me get one intention. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Auntie Mama, you got to win, please. Auntie Mama, you got to win. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Auntie Mama, 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 Auntie yeah, I, I was listening in Stenter, and you guys said something. People say, oh, it is not one trophy. If you take all the President we have trophy that you won, and you put them into one dirty basket, it does not amount to a million dollars. Don't take my word for it. You can look it up. And another thing I want to say, nobody can just arbitrarily make up a price on their own asset. Most evaluation of most things can be determined. You can't just get up and say, entirely, I'm saying, you cannot say, um, uh, President, we are is um, you 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 you, you have to that uh, what the man feel that what his property is worth. No, nobody can feel what their property is worth. This is straightforward. Look, we all know what happened here. Anybody can try to claim this or claim that. We know, President, we are took the Liberian people for a ride, and it's a long ride. He enriched himself. He has absolutely nothing. Look, everybody saw President We are from Staten Island to some of these parties. The boy was passing around. You could see him. He barely had a pot to piss in. Now, all of a sudden, he's mighty rich. Look at President We are before he came to the to, to, to government. Look at him before he became senator. Look at where he was living. Look at what he owned or what he was driving. It's a common sense. Though there is only one reason why President Weah hid this. And people who say Councillor Martin was lying, that is not true. President Weah can declare his asset, but they can tell the LDC, don't show the Martin. Or don't, we don't want nobody to see it. It's exactly what he did. He refused to publish his asset for one singular reason, because he was lying to the Liberian people. He lied on the oath. And sometimes we do say, oh, take us to court. We know in Liberia, the court does not work. When somebody tells me the coin of I mean that everything is uh, useless. And they know this 100%. But what would we say to our people? Look, seditions, I will say this to you. I know President We are, and it's like they will do everything else to come back to power. This is what they want. Every single thing, nearly everything on that document is a lie. $400,000 in Liberia. Can anybody believe that? The President We are, though, that can be verified. And I hope the Americans take hold of this because I believe he lied to the Americans heavily. And I hope they revisit that court case. Well, thank you very much, Duardo. Thanks a lot. Uh, <clears throat> you want your pictures up? Uh, I don't want to put it up, man, Duardo. Uh, I said to go ahead. President Weah refused to publish an asset because he was lying. President Waka refused to publish an asset because he was talking to you. You know, let's stop joking like, like something here. <laughs> let's stop joking like something here. This is the first time I have seen angry winners. People who have won elections and still remain angry. This is the first time I've seen it. Out of the history of mankind, winners are always happy people. This is the first time where you will see people go to election win, but they are angry every day. Oh, no, no, my thanks. My, oh, you ask me later. Let me have it. Please. People win election. Whole government, big government, they win. 
but they angry every day. You know what? Somebody messaged me and said, I have never seen a reckless government than the one that we have today, wherein people break the law at will. People here live in the world's most advanced country, America. Someone was recently sentenced to long years in prison for disclosing the tax return information of Donald Trump. But we in a government, yeah, because he published it, and President Baca thought too, he published it. Listen, that's what I said, rescue is equivalent to confused group of angry winners. During the asset recovery time, people argue, oh, you know, we got to start from right now to go back. Now you come to ask asset publishing, the people say, no, we got to start from back to come if from. Where do you want to start from? President Baca is the president of Liberia today. He campaigned on asset publishing. Up to today, we are not seeing it yet. I thought if somebody was concerned that we should start from now to go back, you will be discussing President Baca now on why he is not publishing an asset. But let me say this. Envy and jealousy will never tell anybody anywhere. George Weir is one of the greatest librarians that have ever lived. Of us will not be equal to 1%, no matter how angry we are. People were here, there, and then, Joe, we are broke. Joe, we are broke. Now they come out. No, he can't get it. No. What do you want to do, people? Come to yourself and take a chill pill. Come to yourself. He was broke yesterday. Today. No, he can't get it. We should be discussing the exchange rate. Well, why are you running the Gary? The hand Gary gets up. Yeah, thank you. I'm ready. It's almost three minutes. So we almost all three minutes. I got a clock up. At three minutes, you all. Sam Jassy spoke for six minutes. Wait, I'll say. 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 I'll Look at it. I'm telling you, my father, your time, what you put there. Glenny, the same thing. Glenny, we'll come to you. We'll come to you. We'll check my minutes. I got my clock here. We'll come to you, Glenny. We have a representative on this show. My own brother for it. A representative. The poor make law. He is not even concerned with the abuse of power. But I wish someone is claiming that a government released the information of a private citizen. And what is so funny is all of these laws that we're discussing were passed when President Baca was the president of the Senate. They said, declare your asset. Publishing it is not the law. You can choose to publish it. That's what, that's your decision. President Baca, he was the president of the Senate. He was there when they passed it. But we have a law. Okay, it, it, it is a disgrace. Minister Do, thank you very much. Uh, Ava, you go ahead, and uh, Glenny going to be last on this one. The clock on. No, Glenny can be the last at the second round. The I'm second. sorry, my man. You will be the last, as I say. I'm sorry. Ava, go ahead. I reckon, my man, we have to check. Hey, hey, man, Glenny, stop now. Let Ava speak. See you. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, Hello. Hello. Again. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Representative. Go ahead, Representative. Yes. Um, I think we need to take few information into consideration. Thank you. Like uh, my uh, comrade said, Abulai, the RF a French uh, investigative paper published a story on President Weir in 2018. President, we are took over this country in 2018 in January. He published his asset in August. In 2018, after he took over this country, he developed structures in the Baptist seminary area. 
And all of those informations was provided by the RFI, one of the French uh, major people. We need to look at the facts. The facts are there. And if this property was something that he acquired before becoming president, mm -hmm. the informations are clear. But mm -hmm. from the facts available to that investigative paper, they say he got those property after he became president. Mm -hmm. And we need to be very clear on this issue. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why you cannot explain as to whether or not you had the resources. And since you are president, you want to invest. Uh, I think but even hiding some of this information create a lot of doubt and that is why we are sitting here today providing other explanations as to what is unfolding we all been in this country and as a matter of fact we were here when the property on the ninth street was developed we are we are aware of the situation to the extent where one of the press officer of the president came up with a mis uh, with a more like fake information and said that property was owned by one of the sons of the we are. So we are all aware of the fight. So we should not be dodging the fight when you're talking about asset declaration, someone going after another issue. People have been uh, part of the sports system. All of you who sit in government or been part of, uh, part of uh, government in this country are one way or another been part of the sports system. I can remember when um, Samuel Jackson sitting on this, um, on this uh, platform was advocated against El Nito and President Salif by then some of us were in university. And he raised a serious issue a few months after he left that issue and President Salif appointed him as economic advisor. I believe by then he was willing to work along with the system because he raised a genuine issue and up to now he had That's a lie. That. that is a lie. 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 I never had the issue. Stop the lie. Stop the lie. Stop the lie. Stop the you were you need, to be to be able, you need to be able to provide the facts that you think are available to the public. If they are present, where is a star? All of us, we are aware that he made money in other areas, but he needs to be very clear. Look at the declaration in the States. It's saying in Florida. President, we have had a property value 1.4. Go into that paper, read the story. They did a clear investigative work as to the property in Jamaica. They said he had not done substantial work in, uh, on that property. They considered the land, the, the, the Baptist Seminary land as land. They consider it as investment that was worth 4 million. So we need to be very clear. If President, we have had his money in his account somewhere and he, want, he wanted to invest after he, he been elected. We need to be very clear and state for the record. But some of you will come here and start raising issues of uh, people who are working in sports system when some of us has already raised issue of credibility on your character. We, we as young people, we think you need to be very clear and let us face the fight. If this has not happened in the past, we should be able to say it has not been the, uh, the, 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 the it has not happened, and we should be able to call those actors to vote because this is the only way we will change this country. We are always out there saying, some of us, we are young, going to government. The first thing we try to bring to, to, to the public was to declare the little we have for everyone to understand what we're going into government with. But everyone tried to benefit from the system, tried to benefit a lot of resources that when they are working for their own business, they will never earn. Let us be clear. If the information is provided are factual, we need to go to the LCC to do proper research on these information and we can verify them and the facts are always uh, out there. As a lawmaker, as a lawmaker, you can request them, right? Yes. The the the, the, the facts, the fact that uh, you you can you can invite the uh, LCC to come and provide clarity on the information provided before us. I think okay. like the last time when we raised the issue of the FIA boss. Yes. Yes. Two, uh, days ago, the president took a decision on that matter. Yeah. Why? So, so, so let me bring you. I, 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 Mr. Jackson, I stop. I stop, Minister Watercourty, from speaking and responding mm -hmm. to you. I have to give Asifa and Danny the chance to speak. We have Fatima in the back. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We call name. Minister what do you call his name, but we don't give him the chance. We come to you. We come to you. 
Yeah, right. talk to me. I haven't responded to you yet. Uncle Sam, we'll come back to you. Let's go, ahead. Let's, go ahead. Let's go ahead to let's go ahead to Ava. Ava, let me bring in the question, guys, and I will have to leave after this question. It's a good conversation to be continued more. We got folks as a declaration. We will show it. If they say the document that we show in straight, they will go and prove it. But what we have in our possession and what was given to the LDCC and the GAC, we show it. If you lie on your asset declaration, you got to answer to the Liberian people. You cannot declare your asset and say, keep it secret. That is the kind of zoo bush. We declare and show only one page. We declare and hold it back. And you're not doing justice to the Liberian people. And now I think the reason why President Ware is so afraid right now and all his folks, like Asset Doe and Sam Jackson and all of them trying to run to his defense right now. It's because that Baptist Seminar property now will be the new estate in Liberia. He built this property after becoming president. And a lot more. So Claire Edward Martin will go after it. Guys, it's a new Liberia. The document. We're registered with LDCC and the document is legit. We got a lot of document coming up and we'll share with the Labyrinth people. Let's go to Ava. Ava, Ava, you think your former friend, he's jittering because now it's showing that he never owned any one of those houses on that land. It was just a land, by the way, and at the Baptist Seminar. Ava, what, what was, I mean, why sedition are so afraid right now seeing these declarations? So what what is it the property at Baptist Seminary was? What's the value again? Four hundred million. Four million. Four million. Four million. So there could be a couple of things going. Maybe Judge We are already was anticipating building these facilities on this. So he established that value. We do not have <laughs> a proper way of valuing property, the property valuation system in Liberia. And part of it is because people don't want to pay the taxes, especially the people in the system who own the bigger homes and stuff. So they use the cost of construction as the value of a property, as opposed to all the other factors that factor into property valuation, whether it's the community, whether it's the other houses that build in the neighborhood, I mean, anybody who has owned a house outside in other places, they know. You probably, 10 years ago, you probably bought your house for 220000 In today, it's probably worth 600000 So that, um, you know, ability for houses to appreciate is very limited in Liberia because we're not honest with the system. We don't have a real, you know, real estate sector. And hopefully that's a sector that we can revolutionize where we start to change the approach to land ownership. We start to settle many of these disputes, build a strong cadastral, and then be able to educate our people. Don't lease your property to Lebanese men for 50 years, 25 years, 30 years without any equity in the potential development of the land. Equity is critical, it's important. We can't own the land when you lease it off a hundred, it's just like giving a lonely man citizenship. We say they can own land, that is the biggest thing, but they can take our land, lease it for 100 years, 50 years, for little of nothing, and they will build a condominium, they will build something on it that has yeah. extra value, you know, and we don't benefit. So we've got to change that mindset. We have to educate I want to call you real quick. I, I, know one of them, huh? that, 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 I know one of them that leased the property for what you just said, 35 years, and you were paying $10,000 a month, I mean, a year. $10,000 a year. And he built a house on the property and they were giving him $25,000 a year. <clears throat> so what you are saying, imagine easy. you make it $25,000 a year, you give the family $10,000, you make easy $15,000. For the next 25 years, you make good money. So you're right, these things happen. So so it's about really changing our system, educating our people. Now, in the in, in case of George Weir, we have baseline. We got what he did in 2005 when he filed initially to run. I think his asset then he claimed 93 million. We got the 2014 numbers. We got the 2018 numbers. Let's look at those numbers. And then part of the function of the LACC or whoever GSC that receives these 
uh, um, you know, declaration of assets. They are not meant to be documents you just receive and just accept. You got to evaluate those documents and assess the veracity of those documents to make sure they true, that they are true or not true. And then you can push back. So if this man already had appraised his property value at that, and he put those houses on there, and then six years later he tell you, oh, it is $4 million. What argument do you have if you never looked at it before and say it was empty, there was nothing on it, and it was only worth, you know, maybe uh, 50000 60000 based on the cost of land? Probably not even that. So people have to do their work. One of my friends, Joe Family, always say, for government to work, government must work. And if our government does not work, we get no result from the same mining, the 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 B mountain situation, the lack of you know these people meeting up to the corporate social responsibility, or even the basic country plans, these concessionaires, all of these things. So you know to dwell on the past, let the asset um, recovery team do their work. Right now, we need to focus on where are we going? Where are we in these first three or four months? Where is the government plan for our future? For the young people's future, what is education? How do we handle healthcare? How do we handle the people on the streets? The rescue mission has to clearly define its trajectory of development in the specific areas of emphasis. We have not seen it from the budget. We assume the budget is a leftover budget from the last government. How are they projecting to the next phase to change this country around? What do they expect from citizens? What should we expect from them? That social contract, they need to define it. The president needs to be a leader. He needs to come out and state his direction and make sure that the people who have those key roles and responsibilities are executing them. And the performance management should not be something in secret. It should be something in public. Look, the clear mandate for public works, according to our 100-day plan or according to our agenda, is X, Y, Z. Maybe 200 kilometers of road, Passable across the country in the first hundred days. Have you uh, uh, succeeded with that? No. Okay. You're on short probation. The next three months, you got to do X, Y, Z. If he does that kind of performance management with people, there will be expectation. But to dwell on just we are, you know, somebody doesn't seem correct, somebody is, is okay. I mean, Joe, we have got, far, as far as I know, he got more than three children, right? How many children were there? At three? I so mean, are you, he, the men, all the children, like you put on the paper, that you won't call the minister of Sabbath? Well, any you know, question in the man paper? That you will call the minister outside. The man say he get three, he get three. The you ask him all on the show. You ask him all on the show. We don't even hey. know how many we got. So, uh, <laughs> hey, I'll see you. you. I'll go over again. I'm going to say, does he know each other, man? No, no, no. Do you ask my mommy right now. Mommy don't know how many. Oh, mommy, sorry. Uh, you passed me. I can put you in that situation. But at least, I do. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Mommy faster, we get for you that. Oh, yeah, after five, the man broke his fast. So you get to a letter. <laughs> All right, but Glenny, uh, we, we we're going to ask you how many you got. We know you know how many you got. They seem four with the men and not the women. So talk to us, says Glenny. The issue about, I don't want you to call name. I beg you. I know you're shaking. You want call name. Don't call me. Nobody <laughs> name. Yeah, just flow, flow, Glenny, flow. I'm not calling anybody name. If we have a, well, I hey, I was about to say, I was about to say, I told you from cutting tongue, you're double negative. Ah, choice is my people. Well, that man will be correcting everybody that you get tired. Go I ahead. Swear, I can pay attention to you, sir. When you ready, you don't send him by message. Who, you put it so. But it anyway, on a serious guy. note, when we hear, we said, uh, uh, um, oh, it's private citizen. That would be a private citizen in job we are. <laughs> when you declare asset, you are private citizen or you are public citizen. The time he declared asset at the time was supposed to be public. If, if he didn't declare at that time, he will still consider it public. So the asset is supposed to be in the public for us to look at it. But I like what Honorable Formula is saying. I think I think if there's a way to question the LECC to authenticate these numbers and to see what the check and balances have done on it, I think we need to do that. Because George, George Weah is not like an ordinary citizen. He was president of Liberia for six years. Not only that, he was also senator. So we have to make sure these things that he, if he lied to the public, knowing like lie, it's a crime to publicly and knowingly to lie 
on these documents. Somebody who had, I just talked on the three million dollar shoes and clothes. Three million dollar shoes and clothes could have even allowed him to pay ten thousand dollar a month in child support. That the one thousand he could not afford, but he he had three million dollar shoes, and he didn't think it was necessary to take care of his own children. Saint Jesse, who yet, who yet defending using all the languages that my uncle will call, call her name, man. I will call her name because Saint Jesse will not hear anybody when he read it. He will call people names. So I will call her name. Come on, name. Saint Jesse, who yet, who yet will post her young I son? I love I'm you. I'm sure Saint Jesse. If the time came for him to pay one thousand dollars for child support, he will stand up like a man and pay that. He would not have to lie. That we can have a president of a country. Who could not even afford to meet up his child support obligations to lie publicly? And they say he has three million dollar shoes. Three million dollar for shoe and clothes. Which shoe? Which clothes? The one he used to wear to the attire shop, no gown and no yellow clothes there. Really? So we have an answer of a joke, man. My joke with us. If we may appear like we are vulnerable people, but we're not stupid people. We're not stupid. People know. And there were people that he went to to get him money, that gave him money, that helped him out. So how he can come back now to the scene before the day and say, oh, the time I was giving the money, I was rich, sure, but I just didn't want to spend my money at that time, so I use your money. Come on. He needs to do better than that. He not private citizen. He public citizen. I will post all the assets. No, no more on my page so now. I will not sleep. Every portion of it, I will post it, the shoe or the clothes or the palm Dior, whatever Dior. We'll post it there. Thank you very much, Sister Brandy. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the show with Dwalu now. I got to go pray to God for my sin. I'm going to Bible study, and I know he's willing to forgive me, unlike some of you that are on the show. The, the... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so they should have Bible study if you're going to. You ask plenty of I go for Bible study. No, it will be my man then from there. I'm standing up so so Fatima will speak because she's coming in. Uh, yes, then then I'm go up. No, I'm going out, Granny. I'm leaving. So you okay, mommy, go ahead, brother. <laughs> I saw the I saw the 27 million half for the shoe and clothes. I mean <laughs> <laughs> so we are brave. <laughs> <Bob Bray. laughs> 27, 27 million worth of shoes and clothes and, and balando. My people, for heaven's sake, get 27 million in shoes and clothes. But anyway, CDC is running a narrative. And the good thing about them, they can do group thinking. So one person think on something, everybody just take it and running with it. So they say we are angry losers, angry winner. There's nowhere in the war people win and angry. But this is why we are angry. We angry after we won because we are not selfish. Even though we won, but our happiness is not just tied to a victory. How do we win a country that is overtaken by drugs and you be happy? Only selfish people can do that. How do you win an election and take over a country that the government assets and vehicles are stolen away? How do you be happy? You have to be angry. How do you be happy when you take over a country after winning? And the country is indebted all over the place. You can't be angry. You can't be happy. You have to be angry even though you won. Our international reputation is in the dust. Our passports are in the hands of criminals and drug lords. That's why we are angry even though we won. We are angry because women were raped. Diplomatic staff were molested by, 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 by ambassadors and ministers. Children of foreign service officers were molested and nobody account. So even though we won, 
We are not selfish to close our eyes on those issues. That's why we are angry, even though we are winners. Those selfish people who want and saw the country in chaos and decided to celebrate and throw party all over the place, we saw what happened to them in six years. We're talking about joys, we are assets. I mean, we spoke about it good now. Let's talk about current assets. We said here on the show, a president Waka will declare his asset and lack it up. The same way George we have declared his asset and lack it up. Then let all of us tell George we are sorry. We said that here before. Exactly. That's our leader. We must have the courage to call on him and say, even though the law doesn't allow it, the law, the law doesn't demand it, but you promise it, Mr. President. You promise it. Please do it. We said it here and we're restating it. If you declare your asset and you lack it up the same way we are dead, then let's tell we are sorry. But we will not tell we are sorry. We will put pressure. We will call on the president to do what is right, to publish his asset. But beside the president, let me learn briefly. I come from Babalu County. I listened to my senator, Amara Kone. He declared his asset. He has not published it. And he said he would think about the process and this and that. Mr. Minister Kone, please publish your asset. Publish your asset because you promised to do it. I'm calling on you because you promised publicly that you will declare your asset and publish. To our young friends in government, declare and publish your asset. That's the right thing to do. And we're Thank calling you. on you to do it. But Thank yes, so we, much. People, we are angry because we took over a country that is in disaster. Thank you. Um, uh, says, uh, Fatou, welcome to the show. I want to go very briefly to Honorable Foley. Before I come to young Sam. Honorable Foley, I'm going to your asset declaration. And you build a guest house on Beaumont Road. You say it's $250,000. Is that building worth $250,000? Yeah, the investment within our things. I have, a, I have a swimming pool there. I have a swimming pool. I have a bar. Everything within our building. Uh, things. It's two hundred and fifty thousand United States oh. dollars, and it's open to assessment. And I've actually been there. I've been to the place, and I'm actually I got an asset declaration. Your asset declaration here, and I'm looking at it right now as we speak. And I, I was at two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay, that's what you say. But do I, I think it was so it is not, open for ADC ADC verification and. Okay. Go there and do an assessment. It's open for that. Let me go to Fatu. She just come in. That's the essence of what it was published. Okay. Anyone can be able to investigate the sources that were listed <laughs> on the original form and establish as to why, whether or not the assets declare are genuine. Thank you, Mr. Fomode. Fatu, go ahead. Um, good evening to all of the panelists and the viewers around the world. Hey, Doc, I saw you enjoying your stay in Liberia without me. But anyway, that's another story. But I was just um, listening. You know, I had to work today. Listening to the show. I just wanted to know. So how is it done, though? Uh, I'm asking the panelists that someone just declared their asset and just gave these values. They are not verified. I. They just say whatever they do. Is it like free flow? Anything comes and anything goes? Like no verification? Just wanted to know because if people have such monies, I mean, I remember when I went to, I, I don't know if people knew, uh, 2013, 2014, I, I literally moved to Liberia for a year and I was teaching a mother pattern. I was teaching in the graduate program. I was doing teaching social work. And um, I used to visit the late Jared, uh, Jared uh, Sharif, you know, she was married to my grand uncle. So we were very, very close. And I was, I was at her house one time when the two fire bombs and I was sitting in her house when the man who is so rich came to ask her because they had just gotten paid that day for money and gas slip and phone cards. I was at her house. When money came there, we all sat down, we ate, she had food and we ate it. And she even encouraged him. She was like, you know, why can't you just run for senator? You know how the people like you to vote for you. So I'm just saying for him to have all this money in just jewelry and shoes and be asking Jared and Dosheri for money to buy clothes, to buy, uh, I mean, to give him scratch card and gave him, you know, all these things in these immunities. I would, I'm just shocked. And who actually verifies the number? Like if I said, for I said, you know, I ain't got much money in my accounts. 
If I say I had 20, they will call Wells, I mean, TD Bank and verify, right? Uh, 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 Tuaru, won't TD Bank verify the money that I say I have? Won't uh, uh, Welch's Bank verify my home, how much my home cost? I'm sure Welch's Bank is there. My deed is there. The amount is written for my deed by Welch's Bank that I paid this amount of money for my for my for my house. I'm sure Mercedes will verify how much I still owe on my car. I mean, I just but they don't have any verification. I just wanted to know that. They do, they do, Fatu, but we do not verify no. because President, we have put a moratorium on any form of verification of his assets. I think it was Uncle uh, Sam Jackson. And then I think we'll go to to Arce Tokwa. Uh, Mr. Jackson, you have two minutes, sir. Okay, well, look. well, look. Let me just be very clear, okay? I'm not a leech on a system, never. I worked in government only three and a half years. Over 20 years of corporate experience, multiple continents. I'm not here because somebody paying me the Joey, I'm not talking about Joey. I never even called me to drink water in your house one day. You never gave me five cents in your house one day. Never. Never. I never went to Jamaica Resort. Okay? So I'm not here because somebody giving me money. And somebody, the learned uh, photo said, Ellen Nito, then Ellen gave me. Ellen Nito was, was closed out August of 2011. My consultant said the Ministry of Finance was in 2014, from January. So December in 2012, a competitive process put me on a UN high level panel where I sat in room with Abhijit Banerjee, Homi Karas, Samuel Daw. These are top economists in the world. Ongozi and Wiela, and we produce a sustainable development goal. I'm not no flack at J-Man, okay? I went to one of the best schools in the world at my own age, okay? And I, can sit down, okay? and I can tell you, and I can tell you, let me finish, let me finish. I look at the sudden city, and I look at the sudden city, and I'm out of here. Just where you're on with some finish, go ahead. Yes, yes, but let me, I'm out of there, I'm out of there. And, and, and God bless me in my old age, okay, to sit down with a highly educated barrister from Southern Africa, I went to the University of South Africa and made it to the highest court in the land. They're not men that like you play with to say that's a common, ordinary man looking for patents. But let me get back to the Jovia issue. What, what about the barrister? Those the, are young men around Jovia. My wife is Mommy. a barrister. My wife is a barrister. My wife is a lawyer. I made it to the highest court. Okay? My wife is a what barrister. Is a lawyer. Sir. Okay, made it to the highest court. And I'm not a small man, I'm not a stupid man. Let me finish. Listen to me. Those of you who've been around Joya since 2005 for 19 years, who benefited from the administration, who benefited from the association with George Weir. Okay. When those documents eh, that you that we know in 2005, 93 million. 2014, I don't know how many million, 2019, so many millions, and you participated in the process that brought him to power, eh? you should, you should blame yourself. But I Thank can you, tell sir. you. Thank you, sir. I believe that George Weah was a wealthy man when he took over the presidency of Liberia. And if you have any doubt, none of you here have the forensic accounting ability the forensic investigation ability Thank you, to Sam. make Thank you sure you those that that document Sam, you know, that you know, you know, Thank you, sir. can do that. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Jackson, you already the, said that. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Since your mama, I'm gonna have you come in. I'll go to um says um Prince Index. Since your mama, your two minutes. Okay, my two minutes. I just want to let people know 93 million. Joe, we are high. Anything you are begging us to spend our personal money, and we spend it at the farting. Let me come here and can't tell us that we didn't spend our money. I named the four persons that were spending money. Well, why are you talking? 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 
I don't even want to hear you, Uncle Sam. Just black, please. Now, the reason why we are angry, there are many reasons. My I love you, my baby. I love you, my baby. Uncle Sam, we got a lot of people. We got a lot of people, sir. Just just tell me, Uncle Sam. Now, because you're my expert in law, please, black. The reason why we want and we are still <laughs> angry, that just need few. That just need few. Because you know when poor kind of get talk, 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 talk. Okay. We are angry because the people's wealth will mismanage. Mismanage. You all took 25 million more per services. The money junior, they said, what's all the money? Y'all came on, y'all took 30 million to win the COVID. See how weekend you put we stay money while our hearts are still bleeding. Because that's what we are angry. That 30 million. We seen Tapa Toke. They say for food to share among the people in Liberia. We never saw the food. <laughs> that's why we are angry. The four billion king. Y'all took it, y'all gave it to a lawmaker, then you go wrong campaign. That's why we are angry. The 16 billion. We never saw it. It came into the country, it disappeared. That's why we are angry. When you are leaving power, you say you left 40 million. GSC auditor, the account of the government. Guess what? There are only 3 million. They found there. 6 million were left in a consolidated account. Your issue book us check to all your 11 friends there. You say they will pay it. So you can carry back to the owner now. The one who the money sucker, George Weir. Because when you just suck the money, just suck it, you go. The black hole. You know what they call the black hole in the sea? When the ship made me stay and go there, I can swallow it. So we are like the black hole. So what happened? What happened? Eh? You issue all the checks. So when the catch it, you share it. We already know it. That's why we are angry. Then the four missing boys. I mean, the three missing boys, we are still grieving for them as mothers. That's why we are angry. The, the four auditors that you killed, that's why we are angry. Thank you, man. Are making love on Broad Street. That's why we are angry with the mothers in Liberia. That's, that's why right. we are angry. Then, so the man that got killed in Tabitana was shot from the back, Mr. Early. That's why we are angry. The, uh, the man that got killed in Sino, I forgot. This one there, this one there, and the German. That's why we are no, but I'm with the people talk for two, three, four, five minutes. You understand again to Nati. Oh, let me finish my own. I beg you to I wait for thank God say see you now yet. Because you get asked to plenty of time. Then the guy that got killed in Sano, that's why we are angry. The NEC magistrate that got missing in Grand Chile. Up to now, we the mothers of Liberia, the women of Liberia, we stay mooning for them. That's why we are angry. Just few more, just one one more minute. One one more. One more. Okay. Now. People begin with you, so I can forget all my things. You can keep some for a second round. We'll, we'll go for a second round, eh? Yeah. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, so that's what we are angry. That's what we are angry. Okay. So, okay. Question, 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 Mama, I'm truly enjoying you. You know, as an academician, one of the pet peeve that I have, one of the reasons why I fail my students is when they take concepts and just apply it. Somebody here was talking tonight about, oh, Donald Trump didn't uh, show his tax return. And when his tax return was shown, uh, you know, that person had to go to court. My goodness, we live in a country like Bureau where we don't even have tax returns laws. We don't even have confidentiality. We don't even have HIPAA laws. So how can you take the concept of tax return legality and confidentiality and then apply it to Liberia? Please, people, when you guys are using your analogy, let's make sure that we are talking in the context of Liberia, okay? There are some things that are applicable and there are some things that are not. Um, you know, um, we have to talk about integrity. I'm glad that this asset declaration is something that we are discussing because Corruption is a sore in our country. It goes deep, 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 almost to the establishment of our country. Because of corruption, we have had terrible schools. Because of corruption, we have poor health care system. Because of corruption, we have had bad role. Even when bad role medicine said he was in uh, 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 power. So we have to talk about integrity. 
Integrity is reflected in your assets declaration. How fair, how accurate, how you 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 make it publish to the Liberian people. When we think about integrity, we think about fairness. We think about trust. Okay, when you show your assets declaration, people can say, "I will trust you with my with the law, with the money." The people say, "I will trust you with the power." The people can say, "You respect our people, our Liberian people. You respect us because you work in the interest of us." They will say, we'll give you responsibility because they trust you. They won't say that you just sit down to maybe some party or Jamaica resort all day and, 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 and don't come to work. They won't say that. Okay, you'll be working. You'll be responsible and working for the interest of the people. The people will see that you're a courageous leader, that you're able to show that this is where I'm, I started from. This is where I will leave when I'm leaving government. This is what I, I would have earned when I'm leaving government. The people will see your honesty. When you speak to them, we we'll have American government coming to come bring laws into our country to talk about, you know, sessions and all of this stuff. If we have practiced some resemblance of integrity, thank you. Thank you so much, and I believe that's what my brother Axel Do, Mr. Do, how you going? You're two minutes, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. So quickly here, um, earlier on, somebody was talking or just talking using India. Say there was a newspaper that reported that President we are so his house in America. Two years ago, President Weah was in the same America playing with his dog in the very same house. My guess is the house he was in, the Holy Spirit house, Holy Ghost from Jesus Christ. Like a house. The same house in Sula, he went into. Funny, isn't I'll it? Tell you. Very funny. I'll tell you. And, um, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's so funny. And let me say, just very quickly, the football donor score with his hand on. The football, it was recently sold for $9 million. That football can be bought for like $100. dollars well, we were recently sold for like nine million. The football alone. Let me just let me just put it down quick. I'm at two minutes. Yeah, one more. Sure. One more thing. Um, you know, people were asking why President we are with there before he be hard when he being president. But President Baka was living on loan just a few months ago. He was living on loan until he won the election. When he was then able to get fifty five thousand to fire victim, though nobody seemed to care. Oh, he took the fifty five thousand as loan, right? Like people stop joking. I got a few points here. I wanted my two minutes very quick, quickly here. And let me also say, the laws that President Waka passed, President His Excellency Waka, the law that he sat in a chair and passed as President of the Senate, the law says you should declare your asset. Waka did not put in the law you should publish your asset. When President Waka was sitting in a seat, as the president of the Senate, the law he was signing, the one he passed, he said, publish your asset. He didn't say more, go and he said, he said you should, you should be, be declared. The reason we are holding President Baika to publish asset, because he campaigned on that. He said he was publishing. So we want him to, to do that. And you know, um, uh, sometimes we kind of just talk. Yesterday we were on the show, somebody said, it's not possible for a bank to give you Loan of 250,000 for a house with 5,000 income in America, you can get a loan for 300,000 on a house with even 4,000 income because the loan is backed by collateral, which is the house. Now, I'm not saying it because someone told me, I'm saying it because I even gave loan out to a certain chair. Where I gave loan, but sometimes it's funny. We just talk things because we feel that we've been just talking, we get good in America, right? Not in Liberia. Don't wait, don't wait, that's a Take you sorry, got, sorry, got sorry, sorry, sorry. Got 10 more seconds, sir. No, no I got 10 more seconds. It's not true. I got 10 more seconds. Oh, you don't? I talk, I, it's not true. I talk for one minute, 23 seconds. The line. Okay, so let go me ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. please. Okay, thank you. So let me continue. No, that 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 that's what In America, it should be harder to get loan than, than Liberia because a lot of things will play into the debt to income ratio in America will, will be higher than Liberia. Again, I walked there, I sat on a chair, I gave loan, plenty of money, millions. So I'm not saying it because someone said it. So in America should be higher than Liberia because of a lot of factors. And okay, very, very well, very well. And again, um, let me quickly end here. Um, you know, when 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 the baby is crying for the mother and the mother comes to breastfeed the baby, the baby start laughing, they are happy because they have won. They first start to see people when they angry. How did they angry? They angry get a song that thing that, that this time. And then somebody say, Oh, we angry because the time we can't and 
We not see rest there and the red green it then dry. But the very same people were with Noka. They are rap, 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 they were happy. Thank you, Noka went broke. So you know what? Good night to you people. When we're ready to discuss serious two, we'll come back. Y'all have a good sir. day. Enjoy your show. Yeah, go to my brother, my brother. My brother uh, uh, no, 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 no. Come on now, come on now, Mr. Jackson. Let's do this, okay? First of all, the average law in America is not. I said, my man, what no cap? Can you can you just wait on Gusev? On Gusev, come on, let's follow the process. I beg you. So first of all, the typical loan in Liberia. My brother, my man, you know we pay. Come, can you just stop on Gusev? I I don't want to have to mute you, so we have to keep moving on. Uh, I believe as a judge, uh, my brother as a okay. just put out wrong information. If you're giving loan out in Liberia, it's four or five years you have to repay $250,000. Even if you're making $5,000 a month and you take the entirety of your income, you cannot pay that money back within the span of five years. So that's a complete lie. He never got a loan. They did Coco G and the yes have full money of the Liberian people. My brother has about to buy it's your turn before we go to the honorable representative. Other value. Can you hear us? You can't hear you, you unmute yourself. Okay, then we'll skip you, we'll come back to you. Okay, so on the formula, let me come to you because your 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 asset declaration uh mentioned several properties that you do home. And I just want you to comment a little bit more about it to create some clarity because there are some people sending me a report here. Oh, and Mr. Dvalo, we don't think the property is $250,000. Can you speak a little bit more to that, Mr. Formula, please? You know, when you declare... When you declare your asset, it's something that you to publish and when you publish it the ADCC should be able to verify the figures that you have provided because you are the one investing you are the one buying materials you are the one uh, paying workers so when they verify why you have declared you have a genuine reason to say this is what i believe this property worth because you do not have a company doing um assessment for government in terms of the value of people property so you look at how much you pay for some of the issues take for an example the swimming pool in the yard of that property i spent over forty thousand in united states dollars you have a swimming pool there with a modern equipment installed there so all we need is for ADCC to look at what i've published to look at uh, what is public today to to them and, and be able to verify what we have on the ground so it's not something for me. If I were going to declare and not and fail to publish, it means the next says yes, someone will come and say, you could not verify these things. It is open. The LCC can go back now and verify what we have. And with that, you can be able to have a clear understanding as to the worth of the, 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 the property you have on the ground. Because you get the cost of the land, you get the cost of uh, uh, materials within that property. You get a lot of basic information that we have available. So it's something that it is public everyone can see it and be able to have a fair share of what we have put out there but the best thing for all of us is that if you observe it in that declaration include uh bank account amount in the bank so you look at it you see a lot of different information so i'm not the one all i have is that i have basic information leading to how i derive at the amount what i need is for the ADCC to come down and see the facts that I have available and have a fair analysis of what I believe that I have put out for the public to have clear analysis about. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your clarity. Mr. Mr. Tokbak, do you have time to come in before I go back to Uncle Sam if I do? It seems you have to log out entirely and log back in. We're still not so hearing I can, you. you get, okay, you're you good now. You're now? Good. Yes, you're good. Okay. All right, so there are a couple of things and hopefully I can get up as soon as I share this. Um, this whole issue of asset declaration and George Formula and myself have been behind this for the longest time. If you don't identify the people in that country it's so impossible to know what the assets really are. 
So that's why the National Identification Registry is so important. And that's why it was very crazy of this We Are government to give that funding for biometrics to the NEC instead of empowering the National Identification Registry to fully register, be a keeper of records, the record, the system of truth for any identification that other agencies that need that to pull from because they really are um, a service bureau. They should be providing information, whether it's um, Passport, whether it's um, NASCORP, whether it's NEC. Everything should be coming from the National Identification Registry when it comes to identification. So it's tough. It will be tough to really, really verify assets because there could be many um, fully formula. You know, not to use the representative as an example, but that's just um, the multiple, the guy who came on, what? Her name Mohammed something, Mohammed Ba or something. There's a lot of people with that with those names. So until we get perfect identification of people, we'll be losing out on a lot of these things that we don't have substantial proof to validate it. Um, the asset recovery, similarly, you know, you can't really, really, really um, recover assets if you really don't understand the identification. You don't know what name what identification people using in other areas to protect the assets. So we have that problem. But overall, the show was um, decent today. But my preference would have been if we had done some homework, taking each of the different um, asset declaration of this particular individual we are, and making the comparison and coming. Because right now, there's a lot of speculation, and we have not validated. So, People say the CDC people, yeah, they can make noise and say X, Y, Z, that whatever you're talking, that's their joke, right? And they can make their claims that President Weir has these assets, which some of them are dubious. Thank this, you. This stuff about, you know, the property in the U.S., people people know some of those property, like the one in Pembroke, it's probably 850000 probably nearly 900000 You can Anybody can go to Zillow.com and verify that. So we just need to do the due diligence on this stuff. It's tough when something comes in at two o'clock, three o'clock in the same day to, and you know, but then again, part of this is the bombshell, right? You try yeah. to throw stuff out there and create the hype. So hopefully we can do more due diligence before we bring information to the people that we can actually be bringing facts that we can stay. We don't have to go back and do homework after we talk about it. Thank you so much, Jose. And, uh, and I understand you talk about Zillow, but President Weir say he has no liability. So that means he owns those property outright, which is not also true. You can verify that as well. It's probably so, not true, right? Yeah. So we, we're going to close now, guys. Two minutes each. Uncle Sam, guys, let's stick to the two minutes. And Uncle Sam, I'm going to come to you first. And then we can go around the horn. Your summation, so, sir. So I, I want to fight with you. Mama, I want to fight with you. Mama, I want to call you tonight. It's a good, friendly firefight. Every night, she on jetty, jetty, jetty. That well, jetty, doing this and doing this. Oh, let me finish. So we soon talk about jetty. No. So I hope. Yeah, I but no, this is my last two minutes. Let me interject. Let me interject. One minute, Uncle Sam. Jetty just that six million dollars. Uncle Sam. Jetty is doing more processing in the country. One minute. Let me one minute. I will not be able to respond Jetty, to no, that. No, no, let me finish. No, you have two minutes. I will spend my two minutes. Anyway, I will Jetty spend it. I want to talk. Uh, I just want to interject. Yeah, but, okay, but you can talk. Last time you can talk, but let me finish talking. Oh, oh, who's here for, for the second expediency? Can we get first one? I think we're still just here. But if you talk about Jetty tonight, you can't fight our own Jetty. I will not fight our own Jetty. Yeah, but you can't fight our own Jetty. I will go on different radio station to talk about Jetty. They tell me I will talk about Jetty on the station. So I'm leaving it. Okay. So you got any other fight to fight with me. Mama. Kenji Mama. Yes. Chetty is a good man. I will end it on that. He invested $36 million. 
First of all, everybody in the studio. Everybody on the platform, I respect all of you all. The democracy that I fought for, that I have marks on my back for, that I went to jail two times in Liberia. That's the democracy that has been exercised today with freedom of speech. But with the freedom of speech, comes also with what the responsibility to be truthful the responsibility to be fair and the responsibility to be things in context george we is a global icon it's a man i respect it's a man that was the president of liberia if we're going to come on a platform if we're going to come on a platform and say this man falsify his asset declaration. It must not be based upon what we believe in our stomach, but it must come with facts that it may falsify his asset, that the property of Pambro Pan had a mortgage and Zillow does not show no mortgage. So don't tell me that Zillow can show mortgage. Zillow doesn't show mortgage. I'm in the real estate. Raffin does not show mortgage, okay? The only place you will get the mortgage from, you go to the county courthouse, it will tell you who the lien holder is. It's a public okay? record. So that's what we'll correction we'll 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 find the it's public record. The Let's second thing I want to talk to you about is that if you believe that the asset declaration of Mr. Weir been falsified since 2005, right? We can discuss it here. But where it can be adjudicated is not in the court of public opinion but within the LACC, in the Ministry of Justice, and with the court system. That's what I have to say. As far as I'm concerned, whatever Joey I say he's worth, I believe that he's worth that. I don't care who he begged for scratch car, who he begged for gas. Maybe the man, the man was illiquid. A lot of Thank rich you. people with assets, tens of millions, may be illiquid. So maybe oh, Joey yes. was illiquid. Thank you, thank you. You were illiquid. So the Senate Honorable got to go on, guys. They'll let the Honorable close up so you can go on. Honorable Fumbler. So I would like to say a few things. Uh, so there are a lot of good things happening in the house, and I think you need to know about some. So then the report on B Mountain was placed on the floor and sent to the executive as amended for plenary for full implementation. And that report they, uh, has clear phrases that says that uh, the police need to investigate and identify the person who gave order for the shooting of Liberia in the area. And a lot of recommendations are in that report. And I pray that you will look at that report in your next uh, program to be able to discuss it because that report is in detail. And the next thing, uh, I want to throw light on is the issue that Aunt Jemima was told to not say anything about. There was a formal communication today where in plain area that has to do with the lifting of the ban placed on process law in this country. That conversation is currently going in the house and we need to look at that. People use their private resources to plan their private farms and for a president to deprive them of the opportunity to uh, transact with the uh, or with investors of their choice, I think it's just unfortunate for our country. So we have a formal communication. I wrote that communication a few weeks ago. Today that communication was read on the floor. 
and we're going to debate the issues and provide more reasons why Liberians should be given the opportunity to transact with any business of their choice, not to be restricted to sell to an individual that didn't invest in their private farms. Uh, so the issues of uh, what we're discussing here today that has to do with the asset declaration of the former president, this is a wake-up call for President Barkai. He should understand that one day he will not be president and by keeping his assets secret, he's not doing anything good for himself. He himself need to come up and publicly publish his assets that people can have an opinion as to what he's taking into government instead of he uh, declaring it and failing to publish it. This is a wake-up call for every government official to be able to come up public and publish the asset and let us ensure that this country can move to the next level. For some of us, some of us who believe that's the best way to go in this country will not remain the same. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Here's Fatu and then my brother, Mame. Um, thank you for the opportunity, um, Duaru and the rest of the panelists, Anji Mama. It's a pleasure to see you again. My own, own cousin, Abdullah Mame, my auntie's son. Just say hey. Uh, Ava and all of the millions of viewers who come every day you to call watch. Uncle say I can't call because I say I guess I'm going to tell you in a few. I'll call your name. And all of the millions of viewers who come, come every day. Don't be smiling with my cousin let out. <laughs> who come every day. I'm not married. My wife right here. My, my wife right here, she looking at me. Who come every day to ensure that Liberia is better for all of us. We do this, I, I don't know, it's a pro bono job, but we come here just to educate our people on their rights and what is going on in our country. Uncle Sam, I heard you say something that you, even you are aware that George Weah came to power as a rich man. But Uncle Sam, you live in Atlanta, it's public knowledge. Judge, we are went to court in Atlanta. I'm a social worker. Don't let me. His daughter it. represented. Right. The, 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 yeah, his daughter. Yes. That like, I didn't want to say my cousin did, but I will bring it out here. Uncle Sam is very, very. You see, Uncle Sam, when we're dealing with Liberia, Liberia is our only hope, our only country. We in America, yeah. I told you I left from America. I went to Liberia 2012, I mean 2013, 2014. I volunteered one year teaching in a graduate program at Mother Patern. Uncle Sam, we're doing this for Liberia because we love our country. You know that, George, we are went into a court in these United States, in Atlanta, Georgia, and said that he is broke. He could not afford to pay $150 in child support. You are very aware of that. Am I lying in this public space, in on this national platform? Am I lying? It is public knowledge. Go to the child support in Atlanta, Georgia. Lawyer client privilege, though. My, my oh, no, 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 Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam is very aware that George Weah did say in a court in the East United States that he has no money. He couldn't, pay, he couldn't afford to pay $150 in child support, that he was broke. I'm a social worker. I have access to all those documents. If y'all want me, I can bring it and put it at your CEO. So my people, it wasn't me that said it. It was George Weah that went to court in these United States. So Uncle Sam, are you trying to say he perjured himself in front of a judge? Well, if that's what you're saying, then he's in big, more bigger trouble now in these United States because he lied. You're saying that the man was rich, rotten rich. My brother did not share the court I, I, I was saying, No, don't, don't, no, I could, I told, it's public knowledge, it's public record. Mm. I'm just setting the basis that Uncle Sam, if you love Liberia, you love all of Liberia. You've been, you been in this Liberia thing since I was born. And if all lady like me were born in 1973, Uncle Sam and Uncle Sam and my pa, they were ministers together in commerce. My pa was minister in commerce. Uncle Sam was there. They worked together. Now, I don't call you Uncle Sam because I'm calling everybody to say Uncle Sam. I'm a real, real Uncle Sam here. 
But let's talk the truth. And if you want me, I don't like to go into people pride because you know me. I work with the city of New Jersey, my people. I can have I have access to all of those. I, I work with children's services. I work for Medicaid and Medicare. I have two jobs. Now, most times in the evening, you don't see me here. I do therapy with children. So let me tell you, if Uncle Sam want to put me to a debate and say this is not true, I'll bring the documents and I will see it here. If we're this Liberia thing is no joke. Liberia is for all of us. And the only way Liberia will become better is all of if all of us speak truth to fake power. These people. I remember me and George, me and Geraldine Dole Sheriff was sitting in her yard when George Wea came there begging for scratch cards and gas slips. And she said, but chief, why you can't just become senator? So for us to sit out here today and see that man buying millions of dollars in shoes and clothing, and you always dressing as Zogo, not because president said I will see the man dress at least <laughs> way. <laughs> My boy, you told the truth now, Uncle Sam. You and myself know the truth. Thank you, ma'am. So I beg you, let's take Liberia serious for her child, for the future of those children that are not gave title to calling Zogis and Zogos. They are not. They are all Liberians. And for us Amen. to raise their future, we have to, we have to speak truth to power. We have to hold people accountable who have stolen her resources. Now, if I want to know something, we want Jafia no more joy. We are I know Stantona. I was I was begging somebody to upload that 17 seconds video for me. Is there anybody in the studio that can help do that? That's seven. I want I want to It's the it's the video. Yes, 17 seconds. That would be my closer. So as, as we wait, I just want to say, Fatima, I truly enjoy how you spoke about family values. Uh, one of the first things that we need to look at when we think about nation building is to the extent that a man or a woman supports the family. And you mentioned that people said George Ria was so rich, but yet and still, he went to the court system in the United States and possibly, well, I want to say possibly, given what we're hearing tonight, there was perjury that was done. Perjury that was done. How can Liberia trust a leader or a former leader that engaged in such legal acts? And that is what I'm going to close with. Okay. Thank, thank you, so you Doc. Thank I think you. everybody is gone. My my own time while we wait for Meme tape to upload. Um, Sage Mama, the Sage Mama is gone. Oh, Sage Mama, while we're waiting, let me just go close quickly so you can be able to go as long as you want. Look, it has to be about Liberia up and down. Nobody cares about what anybody makes legally. If you're a millionaire, you're making your money clearly. I have, in fact, I will celebrate you because I believe you're bringing some value to Liberia. But if the only way you can determine value. It's about taking the small money we'll get, they call it big book on the meager resources of the country, and then you put that on yourself, and then you claim you're a rich man. You are literally denigrating this entire country. Anybody who defends that is equally doing the same. This country, we are not naive. I don't care how a man accumulates his wealth in the private sector. But when you come to the public sector, it's about service. And if that service requires you to some degree to be selfless and focus the entirety of your time, of your tenure, to the elevation of the people. We don't do that in that country. And then see, what bothers me the most is this. The very people that have been taking advantage of are the very people defending the thieves that are killing them. I, I, I can't fathom that. I really don't. I don't understand it. How can somebody be choking you to death? And yet it's still your thing. But that the man want to steal, you're just jealous of the man. The man, the man not ready before that the man won't lock. You're sleeping in a mat round that is leaking. The reason you come in, you got to put bench and put your mattress there. Then you're defending these people. Open your eyes. It is not about you when you start having children. I want you to think about your children and the very people that are destroying this country. President Weah did a massive, massive, he dug a massive hole for this country. Look, 99.9% or .9 of something that President Weah pulled, I think, is mostly lies embellished. Don't let anybody lie to you. You never hire any money. 
You got four hundred thousand dollar liquid fund sitting in the bank. Even though my senior brother yes said maybe the main asset was not liquid, the man said he have four hundred thousand United States dollar in cash. That's as liquid as it gets. He was liquid if he had that but kind I of money. 20. If the Echo Bank is sitting there and facilitating a crime, I think the Liberian government should need to visit that because no such money was in that account. We can determine when the money was actually transferred to that account. If such money as this, it's easy to verifiable. We have to do right by Liberia for once, my people. Let's let's not protect the very people that are destroying all of us. Says your mama, I'm gonna have you come in. Says your uncle, yeah. Love of my life. Since you're all gone, uh, yes, I think I'm going to show you. Uh, so you have the video, video the, the 17 seconds. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? He's trying to upload. They mommy watch that confusion business every day. Why is that confusion? We have confusion for my viewer. I want that confusion every day. I want the public to be the judge. Yeah. We're talking about somebody's okay. credibility, whether you yeah. can talk true or you can lie. Yeah. So I just wanted to play so the people in Sanu, all the people in Liberia, all across just, the country, yeah, listen to it and know. So they can enter the archives forever. Let it yeah. be there. Anybody yeah. can look it up. Oh, saying, well, I don't want you to go long, but then you go, why are we waiting for the tape to up upload? In your real heart, do you really believe President Weah is worth the money he's listed? Seriously, no joke is that. No, he does not. I want to answer the question. No, he does not. Oh, we say in your heart of heart. Okay, you, you and I went to the same place. There are two things that you will never know. <laughs> what is in somebody's head and what is in their pocket? Okay. Right? Yeah. Allah? So, what? me, I can mm -hmm. say I don't know and mm -hmm. I can claim that I don't know. True. Right? Okay. I don't know how the, 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 the 17 seconds Sonny is ready. <laughs> okay. Guys, can you play the 17 second video? We are willing to listen. For all of posterity. So, 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 just for the public to be aware, this this is an interview conducted by President Weir and journalist John Colley about his family. Ooh, baby, 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 I love you. I love you, my good brother. Please play okay. it. They're playing this. They're Liberian people hear this, and we we'll clip it and replay and replay it. This is in the sector. All of you people, let's go back to the ground. Are you making farm yourself? Me? Yeah. You know, I've been making farm since... Uh, Where is it? I've got a farm in Sano. You know, okay. they, they will give me 500 acres. Mm -hmm. I harvest every year. And, ah. this, uh, and my people there are telling to, to, to feed themselves. That's in the sector. All of you people, let's go back to the ground. Are you making farm yourself? Me? Yeah. You know, I've been making farm since... Uh, Where is it? I've got a farm in Sano. You know, okay. they, will, they will give me 500 acres. Mm -hmm. I harvest every year. And, ah. this, uh, and my people there are telling to, to, to feed themselves. Thank you. That's President Weir. The jury is out. He has a farm, 100 acres in Sano. Five, 500. 500 acres in yeah. Sano. Is producing every year. Yeah. The people of Sino using it to feed themselves. Yeah. It's up to you to decide whether this is a character to trust when he tells you you have 27 million worth of shoes and clothes. This is a character you want to trust when he tells you you have over 400,000 liquid in, in cash in bank. Is this a character you want to trust? But Uncle Sam here yeah, knows. Uncle Sam and all work on exposing the presidential press secretary who said the property was for Chamuya. Chamuya. It was Uncle Sam and all who. But, but Uncle Sam, Sam, Sam has said, just said the document from 2005 oh, was, just, was a lie. Yeah, he said that. He said he's talking nothing. So so the 2005 was, was based on lies. You know, look. No, I said it was based on lies. I said it was based on lies. The product. Okay, look, look. Let me tell. Let me tell you something. Oh, sorry, land, land, my man, land. Yes. So the point I'm making is, this man, as president, lied on group of people who are living. They're not dead. They're living in Sino. 
He said he's producing food and he's using it to feed yourself. He lied on them. Is this a character you want to trust? When he's telling you about you get this million, you get this million, you get this million. When we saw him in Liberia, Saint Jackson is there where? It was Uncle Sam. We all made the president to come back on the statement and say the property down for my son and for myself. Because he knew the implication of the research we came away and published. Same published it on a Facebook page. So whether we are can say true or he can lie, that video, that interview should be able to settle the case of a man who said that publicly. But it's not about we are any longer. We just do this to point to the, 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 the situation we inherited, to point to the disaster we prevented by rejecting him. But when we're looking in the future, it's not about we are. It's about the young people who want to lead, who get capacity to lead, who get potential to lead the future, who today have the opportunity to serve in government. But are not mustering the courage to declare a, to declare and publish their assets. It is about them. Because we're talking about the future. We are doesn't belong in the future. We are is over. It doesn't belong in the future. Our young colleagues who are taking public positions, this is the time to show your readiness to lead with transparency and accountability. To our senators who promised that they will declare and publish their assets. My senator from Baapolu, Senator Amara Kone, you promised that you will declare and publish your assets. You have declared your assets with not seen it published. That was a commitment you made. We're calling on you to uphold that commitment. The Minister of Finance of the country. Up to today, where is Burma Kamara's asset? Where is it? He is the Minister of Finance of the country. Two, three months ago, we all were talking about all the transparency and accountability things on Spoon when we were campaigning. I used to interact with Burma, read writings. He would call me, we would talk about it, how he can transform the economy, how he can help stop corruption. You tell our final ministry now, you can declare your asset. Even if you declare it, you lack it all. What a future we're talking about. That leave we are now, we beat him. It's sufficient. When the people come back, we tell them, but for the future, these young people will potential to be presidents, to be vice presidents, to be ministers. In the future, today they have the opportunity to serve. The same thing they criticize, they not mustering the courage to do it. So we're calling on them tonight to see reason to do the right thing. Declare and publish your asset. It is the right thing to do. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I think that's it. Since your mama, I know you did not close. I'm going to depart from you guys so you can close, man. You have your mute. I think you guys are guys in the studio to unmute you. Okay, so I can do it, Nandro Alu? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, okay. yes. My closing, I just want to tell Uncle Sam that all of them are big brother day. I want to tell you that I love him very much. But Uncle Sam, I'm just like you. Maybe ooh, that's why. Ooh, mm. ooh. You see, I'm just like you. We can sham up, but we can tell the truth. I hear when you say something, I have to say the right thing. Uncle Sam, Joe, we are my friend. We all love Joe, we are very much. We don't hear Joe, we are. Uh, we all, all we, we started something together. We work with him. He knows that someone all got a clear heart. But when I sit on the international platform, Uncle Sam lie. I can't do it. Pira, you can be my own mama, sister, Ma Benu. Ma Benu, mama, Ma Benu. She can't hear right now. <laughs> but she know me. I would not laugh for her. So your mama your money. Say, can you put money to my handle to my name? Oh, oh, mama, oh, mama, mama. <laughs> <laughs> mama, <new penu. laughs> you know, mama, my mom pa from Guinea. Oh, mom from Nima. So you see, I got Muslim blood, I got Congo blood, I got Mano blood. So that it, it makes that jealous. rest. So I'm just got no my children. Eh? Then I got no my children, but I got no my blood. I got no my blood. Now, <laughs> for, if that now for the lower man, she carry the food to the prison for you to eat, Uncle Sam. <laughs> okay. Let me close, Uncle Sam. 
What no. feeds my heart tonight? That will be on my next advocacy. The the robot thing I've been talking about is we shouldn't talk about it. I like it. Let's stay. But a movie, I will be on it day end. But my closing will be B Mountain. B Mountain. Uncle Sam. Can you imagine how much gold it will take it from this country in blocks? I say when you say here the church department gold. They bring the helicopter from free time, they carry it into the forest, collect our gold, and it started doing my early town. I won't lie, you see me again, I will tell you the truth. It started doing my early time. They will take the helicopter fully with, 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 with gold, carry it to free time, free time straight to Turkey. Now, this is totally wrong. We got to get up, Uncle Sam, and start fighting for ourselves. These people are getting rich from what mineral resources, and our people are, are getting poorer and poorer and poorer and poorer. Look at my age right now, and at your age, Uncle Sam. We're not looking for nothing. We can eat dry, we'll put red on it, we can care. We're not looking for money. Because what do I want to do with money at their age now? Oh, what do I want? I went buy high issue. We're not looking for money now. We're fighting for the young people who will take our work country tomorrow so they can know they can be in the right direction. But we got to lead them. We got to lead the way and we got to build to, to stay in the background and prop them up. That's what you and I are doing on the show. We're not doing it because of friendship or because of something we can't sit down and can't talk different things. No. B Mountain must be stopped. That will be my next project. You take the gold from there, bring it into Monrovia. We assess the gold, we weigh it, we know how much it is, what coming to Liberia and what going. Because we know you're spending some money to. And you know to 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 operate, but you cannot take our resources, transfer it to freedom from freedom. Get a talkie straight. Uh -uh, that one can work. So I want to say that it's right in my heart because a lot of librarians could benefit from that. They're not facing the road for the people. The people don't have safe drinking water. The people don't have schools. Nothing. Let me leave that one. Then you come to metal steel. Metal steel. How could our representatives, some of them, could have sat down there and signed another agreement? And the first one, he finished the first years, they still got some years, they signed a new one, and then, and then what? They promised the people in Nima County, the largest county with the largest resources. They promised them they were going to re, uh, they were going to run a federal houses, make it habitable for the people to live in your people are human beings. They are not they are not cats and dogs. They promised it in the agreement, they never did it. Our lawmakers and that one I wanted to go in the house, but they say no, they want you let men because the country is a male chauvinistic society. So everything they won't carry men, men, men. They forget to know that women are mothers and we can feed for them. And when we go in the house of representative, we'll be able to make a great change because you know they can't corrupt our mind with money. But metal steel, metal steel. I have not renovated those houses. The poor are sleeping in containers. I listen to the interview. The woman said, We got to sit us on the 3 a.m. in the morning. When it gets cold, then we'll go inside. The poor cook in the container. They, they, they use the latrine in the container. They do everything in the container on who same. Some of the thing here, in our budget talking because we want to okay, We got to lay it down because the country belongs to you and myself. And we are the older people now. If we can't stand by the young people that come in, the, the, the people, look, the, the, the so called investor, then they will carry, they will buy, they will buy, they will buy the sea. So, that's some of the applicants that you see I can be doing. Oh, nobody pay me oh, a free. I drive from Intern County every night just to be able to set the record straight. And that's the reason why you are here. Metal C, we need to deal with that situation. People are still sleeping in the container. And that's complete. You know what? I don't want to use that word. Then, uh, the concession agreement. I think the government, President Joseph Buaka, Newman Buaka, I think they should recall all the agreement and revisit them. When Ellen came to power, my Ellen came to power, or President Ellen, when she came to power, what she did, she recall all the agreement. Now, what I only do, she looked at it one by one or two hours of the journey and say, she read it and she went over and she said, no, this is what we got to do, this is what we got to do. That's what we need to do. 
That's what we need to do. We need to tell people that there are men and women are educated people in the country that will speak for the country, that will speak for the people, the country, the, the, the country people down there, the market woman, the Yana poor, the women are poor, the people in the country, they depending on you and myself to talk for them. To talk for them. Nobody can pay us to do that. And once we begin to show these people, these so-called investors like can to show them that we love our country, number one, and we love our people who are vulnerable. They don't have the power to do it. They don't have the chance to talk. They can't speak up. They will. They will jack. Right now, be Martin, all they know my knee, they're jacking. Okay, the next one. Okay. Another thing, our government, they need to visit the taxation. How can you get 30 years? 30 years tax <coughs> exemption. The only foreign businesses, but the Liberian businesses, we pay taxes, they squeeze all the coming, pay the one, pay the one, pay the one. But the foreign businesses, by the time they say, Oh, I open cement factory, oh, I open oil factory, or oh, I open rest factory, where are they open? They're getting 30 years exemption. Why you and myself got to pay the taxes? Why it is wrong? Then the last one. Oh, I think that's the last one. So these are the things that catch my heart, Uncle Sam. We have to put together. I know we'll come on the show. Everybody want to add it, you know, so much and want to do it. Yes, we all do that. But we got to start putting the reality on the table. My man, we got to start telling people, no, our people down there can't talk for themselves. We are here to represent them. We don't have. We can't hear you all. <coughs> <coughs> You can hear me now? Okay. I'm saying that we all on the show we can come here, we can talk, we can do things and that. But we are here to represent all vulnerable people, all poor people down there who can talk for themselves. You are mute. You are mute. Start you are mute. Up, eh? <coughs> what you can hear me? We can hear you. The mute symbol is okay. on the mute symbol. It's on her, but the audio is just in the studio, so we can hear her. Go okay, ahead. so I was saying that we got to really put together and see what we can do to our people. All these things that people are promising the different concession agreement, we need to look at it and cut into book. Then they start doing it for our people because the promise is in it. They, they haven't done the first portion, you get another 25 years for what? So we need to look at that. I beg you, please. Yes. Thank you very much, so that's my yeah, I very want good. to say. Okay. Yeah, I want I'll to see you guys. Yeah. I, I said, I'm waiting for Angie Mamato. Oh, Ava, are you speaking to? Yes. Are you closing? Okay. I, I just didn't back. want to be rude. I just make it simple because I'm fasting. I forgot to break my yeah. fast. So, you well, know. Yeah. Goodbye to you guys. Yeah. I have yeah. to take care of you. I one and a half hours. So, I'm doing it for myself. For the, for the few love people you. left bye -bye. over, love you too. Saying bye. For I the few people left over, I just want to go back to this whole some kind of diaspora investment I, fund okay. or some kind of sovereign fund for us is important because if you just look at the numbers right now, they're estimating that five hundred thousand Liberians are in the diaspora. Right? If we just say twenty five percent of us, that one hundred twenty five thousand persons. Can over like a one year time frame, put in one thousand dollars each. That like you don't have to stream people. There's some people out there saying they can put five thousand, ten thousand, whatever. That's one hundred twenty five million dollars. One hundred twenty five thousand people doing that is one hundred and twenty five million dollars. We can own sectors of our economy right away and be a powerful force. We can create jobs for people. We can start to change culture, hold people accountable, um, make people, you know, sometimes you look at people who work. In one day time, they probably work five hours, six hours, even if that. So that's a whole opportunity here for the diaspora to really impact Liberia and be able to put their money behind productive activities that can move the country towards Liberian ownership. So I hope people really, really think about it. 
and see how we ourselves, because nobody is going to do it for us. And unfortunately, sometimes when you look at the structure of the generations that are behind there, I think there's a huge responsibility of all the people who say that from 70 year old to like, you know, um, let's say 45, that 45 to 70 year old range. They should be the ones really committed to making a difference. We can cry and say, yes, the war affected us and this one and that one. But at the end of the day, many of those in, in the diaspora are the ones who had the best opportunity to move forward and to make a better situation of their lives. And we have to give back to where we came from, regardless of how some of us were treated and how things happened. So hopefully this can resonate with people. And even if we go with the 10,000 numbers that, you know, what's his name, Otomo, and start from the lowest level, 10,000 times 100, that's, you know, um, $1 million to start with. If it's 1,000 each, that's $10 million. So there's a huge opportunity here for librarians to make a difference. And hopefully we can wake up and do that. Thank you. Nelson, how you doing? Sorry to impose on your time. Yeah, Nelson. Peace yes, sir. Hi. Hi, Hi cousin. Good. How are you? I'm good. Peace how are you? Yeah. I'm happy just and I'm my daughter, Nelson, and my cousin. Ah, I'm lucky girl. You hear what me say? <laughs> but anyway, on, on a, on, let me just one little quick thing because I forgot to break my fast. I know. Sam, Sam, Sam your uncle. Yeah. Uncle Sam, I'm, yeah, he and my pa were working to commerce way back in the days. But he knows. Uncle Sam and myself were sitting on this platform when I called him one day because I saw his daughter's name on a document that I had researched. And I said, Uncle Sam, is this your daughter? He said, my daughter. I said, she represented this person in um, Atlanta, Georgia. He said, yeah, but I don't want to be a part of it. He said, for to see how I make a lot. The man said that he, he get no money. But then Uncle Sam said, yeah, yeah, so they're talking about a married me. Uncle Sam had that discussion. We had that discussion. So I was shocked. And you know that some people, I know you're blind lawyers, loyalists. You want to say, oh, judge, we are got this, judge, we are got that. Look, me and my name grew up in Vitown. I am one of the heirs. I'm the do one of, my father was, my grandfather's only uh, first son, Abraham Sherry from Sherry via Vitown. I know that. First boy. grandchild. So for you to come look at me and tell me, me and my name play together. You were living in Gibraltar, I was living in Vitown. My name, my cousin Tata got a son, champ. So you can't tell me anything about him that I don't know. He's my I love him, but I happen to love Liberia more. And you know, the saddest thing is that I'm not loyal to nobody. I'm loyal to state. Mm -hmm. I love people. I work with people and I will protect people. But when it mm -hmm. comes to Liberia and any other person, I will, I will protect Liberia because Liberia is the only thing that connects all of us. And sometimes when people calling me, all kind of name, I don't get mad because it's for the love of Liberia that they are fighting for. But when I see him, friend, men and fighting for him, we hear they say one and two can go so and go so. So me, I let men. When you want me plow with me, when the men business you're more talk. I hear for men, I can't follow my friend with more. Mm -mm, more be yellow. I don't follow. I only let men. So that you think I can be talking, you're talking to yourself. I just tell you, I need to go break my fast. Ramadan Mubarak, I'm infringing on my cousin's time, and I love my cousin very much. I'm not going to take up his time. But yeah, thank you, Ramadan Mubarak, to all Muslims around the world. I don't know if you all know yesterday I was terribly, terribly sick. But I just came on just to make a point and I left. So I love you guys. Yeah, thank you. My beer first is yes. my beer last. And did your mama, I your man now. I won't put my hand on my knee. <laughs> 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 nah, hey. so I, I love you too much. I'll hit you up later, okay? Okay. We've right. been fighting for anything for too long. We're here now. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Bye, cousin. Okay, love you. <laughs>
Well, folks, uh, again, uh, we want to say thanks to all of you out there. Sincere apologies for that break in um, due to some technical issues here. But I want to say thanks to you out there for being here tonight, for watching this edition of the program Spoon Talk. Uh, thanks to all of you who called in. Thanks to uh, those in the comment section making a contribution from there. We appreciate you as well. Many thanks to our folks in Radio Land um, across Liberia. Spoon FM 107.5, Fabric 101.1, Super 95.5. We appreciate all of you uh, in other parts of the country. Those of you in Bomi County, Trust FM, um, Grand Cru County, Trend Radio, in um, Central Liberia, Bonk County, uh, Premier FM, in Kakata, Maigibi County, we appreciate you for joining us tonight. We'll be here tomorrow with another edition of the program, Spoon Talk. Until then, have a good night. Um, Liberia is all we have. So let's remember to keep the peace of our country alive. Of course, uh, uh, you can join us here tomorrow for another edition of the program. Spoon Talk will be... Uh, back on your radio tomorrow. Of course, we will be here. Uh, the CEO and the rest of the team will be here to bring you another edition of the program tomorrow. Uh, better still, uh, you can join us tonight for the late night show. The late night politics on Spoon will be live on your radio tonight as well. So you can make up time to join us on the late night show tonight. And uh, it's going to be a fascinating discussion coming up uh on the show tonight to all of you um always making up time to join us here on spoon we appreciate you a whole lot um uh, and um i see dr ishmael kelvin dr ishmael kelvin jason you're always here making your contribution we appreciate you uh idris lomet mr philip bala philip bala thanks for joining us tonight we are Appreciate you. Uh, thanks for being here tonight with us. Yes, and we also appreciate the folks out there. Uh, Cindy, Gege, Scott, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you as well. And uh, thanks to, uh, I see Melvin Davis. Melvin Davis, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you as well. And um, yes, I see... Uh, uh, Richard, Richard Poker, thanks for being here. So we appreciate all of you tonight, folks. Uh, thanks for always being here with us on Spoon. It's because of you that uh, we always come up here. And um, we'll be here again tomorrow with another edition of the program. Um, to all of you celebrating birthdays today, happy birthday to you. Uh, Jerry Yima Yimpa, uh, you have your birthday today. You're celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Um, we wish you all the very best as you celebrate your birthday today. Jerry Yimpa, happy birthday to you. And there are so many of you celebrating your birthdays today as well. Uh, we want to wish you well, wishing you all the best as you go ahead celebrating your natal day today. All right, and um, again, thanks to all of you. Let me just send a special uh, one here. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Let's see if we can do this. Yes, uh, Adama Boakai Sharif, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you as well. Thanks to all of you for being here tonight. And so um, we... Sincerely appreciate your contribution on the show every single day. Uh, thanks for being here tonight. And so, folks, uh, that's how we like to draw down the curtains on um, this edition of the program. And um, just before we go, uh, we want to send a special birthday greeting to... Um, uh, to Miss Angeline Smith. Angeline Smith, today is your birthday. Madam Smith, we wish you all the best as you celebrate 
your birthday today. Uh, Rejoice Smith is wishing you happy birthday as you celebrate your later day today. That's you, Madam Angeline Smith. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday to you as you celebrate your later day today. All the best on the special occasion of your birthday. And so your daughter, Rejoice Smith, is wishing happy birthday as you celebrate your birthday today. Well, folks, that's how we like to draw down the curtains on the show tonight. Join us later on for the late night show. Bye-bye for now. Yes, I, a special one from the CEO, Stan Conner with the spoon. And your boy, Friday the South, man, charges on the beach.